so they started. started. Run up on a nigga like plastic. No show, I need a fall for the money. Only riding with the soldiers in the muddy. Wait for you, you gon' die like the last day. We don't got fame for the traffic. We just want fame and the mansion. Money only is a gonna last day. No peace for the peace. So if I go to fight just to breathe and be, my people still cage, no free. No free. I ain't living in the land of greed. So I don't need a reason to see. Before I go, go, I'll leave. Friend of an upper enemy, let me speak. Cause me, I know you ain't kill, you elite. How you say you practice when you preach? I'm a brother still dying in the street. Yeah. If you want smoke, you can have it. Running from the class, they ain't grinding. We gon' use force like you minded. And they kill it from my nigga stick guard. No one need to rise on you. When you hear me scream for the system, you can keep it cold out in the victim. And if you ain't involved, you can distance. I can never kick you with a snitch. The runners said he got his first shit. But yeah, now we do it in the street kitchen. Tell him stay persistent. Hey. If it's a day of resistance, cool and vicious. I know you hear me, you ain't listening. I thought I thought had time, but he did. I'm tired in an instant. I'd be the greatest stranger to the hell. But we're going through some phases, and I was born broke. So this money could not change it. Did it on my own, fuck a pace it. So everybody eating, I ain't made it. I ain't made it. You're tired of me bitching by his nation. Just a bunch of old faces, stuck up in the 80s. Ready for the darkest phase. We've been to the darkest phase. See the fire in my eyes still blazing. I wish I didn't wouldn't try aiming. Yeah. Just let me speak. Just let me speak. Yeah. Oh, going through phases. It's funny because it's on my own. Yes, blessed love, people. Blessed love, baby. I thought, um, cut that a little bit short. She's the one that always plays the, the theme music. You know, I should always, I should really get this uploaded properly. You know, I keep asking my daughter, the, the, the author, the singer, is it, of the song, um, to get me a copy that I can upload. And all now, the little girl ain't giving it to me. Blessed love, people. Blessed love, blessed love. I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful week. All about the black. Uh, I know she's going to be coming in at some point. I don't know if she's here. Uh, Lioness Keats is going to join us a little bit later if she can. But I know we got Paula Smith. I know that we have got uh, Lady Dimps. And we have a new moderator today. Bless up, everybody. Uh, big, give a big hand. I'm, I'm really kind of... Hold on. Got to get myself into this. Give a big, big hand to our new moderator, Grandma Liz. I open her ready for Grandma Liz tonight in the comments because we know she don't take no prisoners. Welcome, beloved. Welcome, Grandma Liz. Go for them. Let's see how it goes. So, yes, my people. Her. Oh, what a web we weave when it is we choose to deceive. I guess you all know what the topic is tonight. We're not going to have any other items. I might do some catch up at the end. Who knows if we've got time. Uh, we are expecting one or two guests. They're not here yet. So, you know, you know how it goes, people. They may or may not arrive. Um, but what I will say that there are a myriad of uh, different witnesses. I have spoken to so many people in the last 48 hours concerning the individual that we're going to be talking about tonight. Lord God Almighty. Brace yourselves, people. Brace yourselves. Ah, okay. Right. I see one of them. Not sure what's happened to the other sister. Brace yourselves, because my goodness, the things that I have seen, heard, and witnessed about this person. Shireen Blackwood. Yeah? We're not going for no DJ Styler or no kind of man name or anything like this. And let me tell you lot something here, because I've seen what's been raging up on the page and what's been carrying on and what hasn't been carrying on. Um, and there's people trying to twist the narrative and draw me into things that really, really don't concern me whatsoever. I have not organized any kind of crimes. I have not said anything that is supposed to incite any type of violence against anybody or anything. Whatever mix up this person is already involved in, and let me tell you they're involved in mix up. Let me tell you they wouldn't even know where their enemies are coming from to the amount of nastiness that they've been doing 
over pretty much 20 plus years. Yeah. We're talking about DJ Styler. We're talking about uh, AKA Shireen Blackwood, who is a woman. Who is a woman. We're going to, we're going to chop it up tonight, people with or without these guests. We are going to chop it up tonight. I'm hoping they can come on. There's a lot of intimidated people out here. That's what I need you to understand. A lot of intimidated people out here. This one wants to talk about, I mean, I saw comments sent to me around, um, oh, look, what about their mental health and, you know, people fearing for the, what? What about the victims? What about their mental health? And when they were busy buying out people's argument on Roper Cropper's live and coming for Sister Substance and her husband, what about her mental health? Did anybody stop to think about that? Hmm? It seems to me that this person is not only a, a narcissistic high manipulator, but they have psychopathic personality traits. That's what I'm observing. Like, seriously. <laughs> too much. Way too much. Give me a moment, people. I'm going to try and see if our guests can join us. Um, I know that the person is at an event, actually, so that, you know, it's going to be in and out for them, but they are going to, going to try and join us at some point. I'm hoping they could join us at the beginning. But if it doesn't go like that, then we'll just press on until they do jump on and we'll do our normal thing, all right? So give me one minute as it goes and um, I'll find out what's happening. Right, so that person is not coming on just yet. I'm hoping they're going to be able to jump on a bit later on. And we are going to have one or two other people on as well. And I will be putting the link out most definitely. But I want to start by um, dissecting. So for those of you that don't know, actually, because not everybody's on Instagram. I know a lot of, of our supporters are not on Instagram. Um, let me just give you an update about what we're talking about and who we're talking about. Okay. Now. Hmm, hold on. Yeah, so we're talking about an individual. How this all started, let us just talk about, first of all, um, how this all really started, all right? This started because last week I um, covered a story about a young girl called Substance and her husband 
who alleged that they were drugged at a party with some people that were involved in dance hall. And it was months and months ago. Um, I was actually hit up months ago by this individual, but I hadn't covered the story for one reason or another, and I needed more evidence, all right? Damn, this light is, 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 is very, very bright. Um, I needed more evidence. So I covered the story last week. Now, prior to that, the story had been covered on a well-known Jamaican vloggers live uh, called Raw Pacorpa, all right? Now, Raw Pacorpa covered the, the live and this individual, DJ Styler, AKA Shireen Blackwood, uh, appeared on the live, buying out the argument. Uh, now, the thing had nothing to do with them, really, apart from the fact that they were playing at the party. You know, on the face of it, that's how it seems. Uh, but they, they decided to jump on and defend their friend and really buy out the argument. And I'm hoping that they're going to, if you're watching, Shireen, which I know you are, um, you will jump on tonight and buy out the argument, your argument, you know, because you seem very, very keen to be buying out other people's arguments and jumping on lives. And I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want to come on here and answer to what it is that the indictments are. And the indictments aren't about your sexuality. There's no way. I was trying to get hold of my uh, gay friends today. And I might still do that during the live, actually. I didn't get a chance to do it. But I'd like them to jump on and tell you about, tell them, tell the people about my days as a fag hag during my uh, 20s and early 30s when I enjoyed going out with my gay black male friends uh, and going to Bootylicious, Heaven, you know. I can name the people inside there. Sisters like Brandy, sisters like, big up everyone in the chats, anyone in the chats who knows about these things. You understand? Sisters like Brandy who used to uh, hold the door. Joy, who used to be in the drum and bass room in the house and garage room. I know what I'm talking about. You could have never, you people, tell me about anything to do with homophobia. Talk to me about Candy Bar, hanging out with my sisters in there. Talk to me about that, Shireen, because I know you know the scene because you are a lesbian and there is nothing wrong with that. You want to be a lesbian? Completely up to you. You want to be a trans person? Completely up to you. But what you are not is what you've claimed to be, yeah? And we're going to break it down. What you are not is what you have claimed to be. You have not got um, a, a condition. You are a liar of the highest order, okay? And I'm going to prove that to you tonight. I'd love you to jump on and chat to me. And it will be a respectful conversation. As much as I say what I say here, if you jump on, we will have a reasoning, yeah? Let us chop up what you've been saying on that live that you put out. And actually, that's your undoing. That's actually your undoing. You should have kept quiet, yeah? Maybe I wouldn't have gone in as deep as I have. You should have kept quiet. That's what you should have done. There was no need to jump on the live the next day, okay? I'd, I'd, I'd kind of mentioned you in passing on the live or in relation to the substance story and nothing more. Because at that point, I didn't really know much more. You understand? Sweet fantasy, you know them sisters there. That's right. I dare any of you, all of you in the chats, I want you to come on, jump on and tell me how I am homophobic because I've never been homophobic. I've always been the voice that says, you know what? Even when I'm in Jamaica, I've come to near fights with Jamaican people because all I can hear is Batman this, Batman that, Batman. And I say to them, a Batman don't want woman. A Batman don't want Pitney. A Batman wants just his own Batman. Let them do what they're doing behind uh, closed doors. And if, the, if there is judgment to be had, let God be the judge of that. But what I'm interested in talking about is why you want to ban Batman, but you're not defending the fact that your brethren has got a 12-year-old baby mother. I've always been on this. This didn't start with his time is up. Ask anybody that knows Afua and they will tell you that I've always been on bunning out nonces. It's just taken another form, all right? And when it comes on to our gay brothers and sisters in the community, I know their pain and I've touched on it on, it on this platform because, you know, we've chopped that up. So many of the young black male and female gay and lesbian people that I have counseled in, during my career, spoken to in my lifetime, hung out with, scratch the surface of 99% of them and you will find historic sexual abuse. You will find childhood trauma. That's what our community needs to catch up with. So I'm not going to bun them out of turn. 
you understand? I'm not going to do that. I've never been about that. My children's godfather, one of them, is a gay man. I went to school with him. We've known each other since we're 11 years old. I was the first person he came out to when he tried to commit suicide at the age of 18. And I said to him, don't you ever do that to yourself again. We'll stand up to them together because we knew the community we came from. And he touched my soul. So from there, any little homophobic programming that I had as a, as a young uh, black British girl raised by Jamaican parents listening to reggae music in my community, it went on that day when my best friend tried to kill himself at the age of 18 because he didn't want to be gay. Even though he'd grown up partly in foster care and been nonce from the age of about three years old by a nasty foster parent. Yeah, he still tried to kill himself because to, to bear it was too much. I knew then that we'd got it wrong. I knew then that the focus had to be on the abuser. Anyway, I'm not justifying that any longer. Um, and yes, I do have gay and lesbian people in my family. Like most of us these days, they were hiding before, but now they're coming out in their numbers. What are we going to do about it? A lot of the gay and lesbian uh, sisters and brothers that I know are far more decent. Yeah far more moralistic, far more woke than many of the straight brothers and sisters that I buck up on, on a daily basis. So we're not gonna have any homophobic nothing here tonight. What we want to establish is has a lesbian woman been deceiving straight women into thinking that they are a man when they are not? and deceiving those sisters and raping them by deception, because that is what it's called in the law, rape by deception when you do that, okay? That's what we're here to discover. That's what we're here to decide, because that's the only thing I'm interested in. If you wanna lay down uh, a Niam Fur Burgers all day, that's totally up to you, good on you. There are people very, very close to me that enjoy that too. I haven't got any problem with you. I haven't got any problem with any of it. All I've got to say is, I know I'm straight. I know that I don't lie to nobody when I'm laying down with them. I'm saying that what that not only is it a crime in British law to do that, very hard to prove, however, very hard to prove. Just like we know, I'm not gonna uh, teach you guys how to suck eggs anymore. We've been through it time and time again. We've done whole lives on it with statistics and all the rest of it. We know that rape and historic sexual abuse cases very rarely either make it to court or end in a conviction. These people always bust case. They always seem to bust case, you know? More often than not, there are more acquittals than there are convictions. So this is what we're gonna talk about tonight. So when this person wants to go around things and this person wants to uh, build narratives and run rings around people, we're going to break down tonight why that isn't going to work for you here. That's what we're going to do. But what I want to start with, I want to chop up and dissect what this person was saying in the live that they put out. I've got a couple of screen recordings of it. I don't know how long it was. I didn't see it. But my team, as always, they don't sleep. They are diligent to a fault. So anything that's out there with my name on it being uttered, written or whatever, I don't know how these guys do it, but they are on it and they send it to our group chat and I see it. Uh, I see cross sections of things. I don't have time to sit on the internet looking for this thing and that thing and that thing and this thing. And in any event, it gives me a headache. So I'm not about it. Let me just try and find this thing so we can bring it up. Let me share the screen. Hmm. I don't know which order I'm going to play it in, but I don't think it matters because I've got two screenshots. So I don't think it matters. I want you to, in this, whatever we're going to watch, I want you to um, really pay attention to the interaction between Shireen, a.k.a. Styler. Let's just call them Styler for now because people joining will understand what we're talking about. Listen to the interaction, brothers and sisters, between Grandma and Styler. Listen good. Because what we're talking about here is a 95-year-old woman, okay? A 95-year-old woman who's manipulated, who can be told anything that this person wants to tell them, and see if what they are saying really marries up. It does in places, and that wouldn't be really hard to do. You know, all you had to do was, before the camera go on, you know, say, Grandma, you know these people are after me and they're saying these nasty things about me and whatever, and you know, you know that um, it, it, we got some medical evidence that I'm a guy and all the rest of it, 
you know? It would be easy to manipulate that old lady and to have her, but there are parts where she gives it away. Uh, I want to see if you guys spot it. I'm not even going to tell you. I want to see if you put it in the comments afterwards, but look at it and look at it carefully. Give me a moment. I'm going to try and share the screens. documents and spreading it around and putting this name and holy of things i'm seeing and i leave it i leave it alone so, you know it's not true i leave it alone but the thing that got to me on the weekend is there's a lady a proper uh respected and i used to look at her work yeah i'm not even gonna call her name you're not supposed to know who it is she says she's a community activist yeah and i used to believe that she used to do some good work but recently it's like she's been going downhill like the, the, the stuff that she's been talking about, I'm seeing like she's getting herself involved in the wrong kind of thing. Like the, the other day, there was a little girl that got killed in Croydon. I don't know if you guys saw that. She got killed in a bus. And this lady posted up a young boy's picture and said he was the person that killed the girl. She has over 600 comments telling her, take it down. It's not him. It's the wrong person. She wouldn't take it down. Wrong and strong. She wouldn't take it down. Again, you're ruining somebody's life. You're ruining an innocent person's life because you believe that that's the person that done it. So people have to be weary. So then you do a live, you got my name in your mouth. People are saying, I'm on a, a register, a sex offenders register. People, <laughs> my grand's laughing. <laughs> people are saying, I'm a woman and I'm trying to trick people to believe that I'm something else. I have to laugh again. I'm I'm born. I'm born with both chromosomes. You cannot, you cannot persecute me for that. That's not my fault. That's how I'm born. Okay. I choose what I am based on the science. Okay. I don't have no reds. I don't have no room. I don't have nothing like that. So it don't make no sense me parading around saying, oh yes, I'm a woman and I don't have any of those attributes. That don't make sense. Okay. So let's just clear that one up. I'm born like this. You have people saying I'm on a register and I shouldn't be around kids. Do you know that I work in a school? Do you know I have an enhanced DBS check? I work in a school. Now, if I was on a register, a sex offenders register, I couldn't work in a school. Do you know? I couldn't be amongst children number two. Yeah? Even on the weekends, I, I do children's parties. I, I'll help with SEND children. I work with SEND children. That's my profession, actually. Away from DJing, I specialize with SEND children. Yeah? You have these people saying some disgusting things. And then not only that now, the reason why I have to also reason with my grandmother and go live, because this thing is going too far now. Because you have people sending me messages saying, fuck you and fuck your granny. What do you mean, fuck my granny? What does my, what does my granny have to do with any of this? You don't even know my grandmother. And to look at a 95-year-old woman like this and I say... Exactly. To look at a 95-year-old woman, yeah, to be talking about fuck your granny, that's just disgusting. So now I'm getting threats and these kind of things, yeah? So we have people doing organized crime coming together. We don't accept that in our community. We don't this and we don't that. What do you mean you don't? You don't I don't need to be in your community. I'm in my own community. I'm living. What do you, his time is up. And what are you talking about, lady? It's, it's, it's just disgusting. And the thing is, I used to believe that you was a community activist. And then I see what happened. You got convicted for drug, tra drug trafficking. And that's your past. And you're a criminal. Yeah, and now... I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just,
spirit. They, I don't have no convictions, no drug conviction, no sexual conviction, no nothing conviction. My my DBS enhanced check is clean. Yeah, so I don't want people um spreading this kind of rumors and say what you like, but come on, man, think about what you're saying. Yeah, and please, you, you do not bring my grandmother about fuck your granny and anything there. That's just disgusting. All right? As I said, I'm very loved by my family. Yeah? I born with a chromosome disorder, XXY, Klinefelter syndrome. <laughs> You're not going to see them type of people there, girl. I still can't get over Granny, you know. I love her. <laughs> She's great. Yo, she reminds me of my own people, my grand people there, my grand aunts and my grandma and stuff. <laughs> but poor Granny. Poor Granny don't even know a world one. You're wicked to be manipulating the sister like that. Um, let me just play the second half of that, people. Let me just play the second half of that. Have I stopped sharing? I think I have. This thing's mad slow on this other computer, but it's just easier to have two machines. So there is another one. Yeah. I definitely need some kind of technical support. Does anyone want to volunteer to be my technical support? I don't know how we'd set it up. I think you'd have to be in the same room as me or something. But um, let me try and set it up. So give me another moment and I'm going to play the second part of that. And we're going to chop it up. Technology's slow tonight, people. Give me a moment. The thing's just spinning and spinning and not loading. Give us a second. Mm -mm. Oh. Shit. Right, that's loading. I don't know what even that's doing, but we'll get back to the second part of it. Let's just break down the first part of it then. Did it, did you guys notice how um, this person tried to weave me in? It's so it's such a manipulative strategy. So they've taken um, they've taken snippets of whatever people have said to them, different people who I don't know. By the way, how would I know these people? Um, how would I know these people? But they've taken like bits of whatever's going on for them, maybe bit snippets from my comments, what people have said, da da da, uh, and whatever other troubles they've had in the past as well, and try to weave me into the narrative. Uh, you know, these people are doing organized crime. You know, his time is up. The way that that was done, if you've got eyes to see, you will see the manipulation. It's unreal. I didn't. I don't know anything about death threats, telling people to. Uh, you know, F your granny and all the rest of it. I don't know anything about any of that. But yeah, you tried to draw me in. I could do you for defamation because everything you've said is totally unfactual and untrue. Yeah, I've got my life to prove it. I haven't sent you any, uh, I haven't sent you any messages or tried to terrorize you in any way. I've simply, oh gosh, I'm going to have to shut that down and try again. Um, I haven't done any of those things, but you, you definitely tried. To the listener who didn't know what was going on, I'm trying to play the next one, Kelly, I really am. But to the listener that did not know what was going on, um, you really, uh, you know, that, that doesn't know the context and the history, they would have been forgiven to think that I was organising gangs of people to harm this individual um, and that I was involved in some kind of hate campaign against them. 
and all the rest of it. And, and then saying, you know, oh, I see what's happened here. You've got an issue because you're a criminal and I'm not. Well, you are a criminal. You might not have been convicted. You were very lucky in that regard. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute um, because it's in the public domain. We have had our, we are doing our research. We continue to do our research. Uh, and we've also got uh, disclosures at our, dis uh, at our disposal. We've also got that at our disposal as well. And there are so many whistleblowers, people that have been close to the victims and so on. So I'm able to tell some of that narrative, even without the victims coming on. I'm able to tell that. And you know here on His Time Is Up, we stand in the gap. But I have also got material evidence that I'm going to present tonight. This is wrong. It is wrong to deceive somebody to have sex with them so that you can, uh, for your own pleasure and satisfaction, and, and, and debauchery, because it is debaucherous. And I, I'm, I don't care what you are. I don't care if you're male, female, trans, alien. I don't care what you are. You do not have the right to trick people into thinking that you're one gender and, and you're not that gender, actually. You do not have the right to do that. Um, and we're, he's going to go on a, a bit more and talk about this. Is it Kleinfelter syndrome? Um, and we're going to look into that as well with some of the claims that were made. All right. So let me just try and get this back up because this has something need for throw out. <laughs> I did end up getting a new laptop, people, but it's just so long to upload it on one thing. It's better to have it on another while I'm talking and then it flows more, but not tonight. So give me a moment. Yeah, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's deceptive. Uh, and it's also abusive. I've got these people on my page saying, oh, Afro doesn't talk about paedophiles anymore. This page has sunk into nothingness and whatever else. We deal with abuse of any kind. And this page has evolved. This movement has evolved to not only talk about paedophilia, but to talk about domestic violence, to talk about female to male abuse and any kind of abuse. And we just want the nastiness in our community to stop. We want these nasty people who have got personality disorders and worse to stop because these are the things that are holding us back as a nation. That's what I believe. And that's what I fight for. Abuse of any description. I don't just counsel people that have been sexually abused. I counsel people that have been through all kinds of abuse and trauma. Yeah, I therapy them in my line of work. So it isn't just about paedophilia. And as I say, and I also deal with what the community, I respond to what the community are presenting. So we had a whole season for two and a half years of nothing but paedophilia. And, and the sisters now are talking a lot about domestic violence and some of the other things that we see. So I respond to what the community wants. It's a community conversation. What would you want me to do? Different. And you're not here to dictate about what I talk about, you people. Run up in the comments tonight, because we have Auntie Liz for deal with dinner tonight, as well as, as, as my other warrior sisters in there as well. I love this sister here. You know, it's a, it's a joke. It's a joke. Uh, when, the, when the BBC put out the uh, Tim Westwood story, right? When the, when the BBC put that out, or was it Channel 4? It was one of them, right? When they put that out, and, 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 you know, no uh, real receipts, just women unconnected in their numbers as a cohort speaking about the same thing, couldn't have known certain uh, details about the man unless this had happened. That is what historic sexual abuse evidence looks like. The BBC could never have done that if it was illegal to do that. But I do that every day or every Friday I do that. And yet I get such a backlash from my community. Did all you people that love to jump on my page and love to tear me down, tear this movement down, did all you people go and lobby the Channel 4 on behalf of this man? No, you didn't, did you? But the crab in a barrel mentality that some of us Negroes, and not us Negroes, because I make a differentiation between black people, B-L-A-K-K, -K, and Negroes, I really do. Honestly. Slave mentality, crabbing a barrel people, tearing down the thing when you damn well know it's true. Yeah? And those of you, just because you hate Afawa, it can't be true. I'm tired of Una. I really am. And there are one or two people that have taken things too far lately that I am definitely coming for them because they're proposing, uh, they're posing safeguarding issues and all sorts of things. So look sharp. Look sharp. 
That's all I got to say. Let me try and present this second one now. Guys, yeah, let me try and present this second one now. Right, it looks like it's trying to behave himself. Or herself. Give me a moment. All right, I'm not sure why it's not sharing people, but I'm going to keep trying. I think it's really important to listen to it, especially for those that not, haven't already seen it. Let me keep trying. I don't know why this team is doing this one. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be showing. And it won't come on this computer either. I can't send it to it. Ah. Might have to go on my Instagram page and look at it. I'm not sure I put both of them up, actually. Why is this thing? Let me try one more time. Technology, man. Gets on my nerves. But it's so powerful. Ah, it's just that it's taking long. Now I've taken it off. I'm so sorry. It went to share after God knows how long. Now it's come off again. So let me try and share again, people. Oh, I think it is sharing. Hold on. Is it? No, it's not. Sorry, guys. You know how I am with the technology. <laughs> Be patient. Just started to share and I stopped it because I was I was impatient actually. Busy yourselves in the chats, moderator. Keep them entertained that while I sort out this technical difficulty. Oh no, what have I done here?
deciding it wants to take 100 years to load. Um, let's look at some text messages, actually, that I've got. I've got some, um, and I've got permission to share this. Uh, in fact, it comes from the sister that's supposed to jump on tonight. Um, let's look at some messages. In fact, no, nah, let's not do that. Be patient. Talk amongst yourselves. It ain't nothing. Let me wait for this thing. Yeah, it's loaded now. See? All right. Let's not do that. I'm going to save that till after. And I'm going to try and load up this next video. Play with them big book. Take them more, but I don't know. I never know. Say the medication. Maybe both intersex. Yeah. I, I'll take care of your, your, your jeans. Affect my jeans. Oh, no one would know would affect my jeans. Uh, Nobody would know that. I never knew. I was half. What kind of friend you have? Yeah. If you keep um girlfriends or boyfriends, and she got any boyfriend. Mm. This, and I start crying, couldn't answer no more. Yeah. But I'm
want something what people with them big book to take no more for a phone you know i never know so the meditator where you're going to with that both intersect yeah Oh, no one would know it would affect my jeans. Nobody would know that. I never knew. I was asked what kind of friend you have. Yeah. If you keep um, girlfriends or boyfriends, and she got any boyfriend, mm. and I start crying, couldn't answer no more. Yeah. But I know something was not right. Yo, my peeps. Well, go on. You guys need to look out for um. there's a documentary coming out real soon um, called Living with Klinefelter Syndrome. Yeah, so a syndrome where you're born with chromosomes that are female and male chromosomes. So your genetics are basically in the middle, intersex. So a female chromosome has a, um, a XX and then a male chromosome has an XY. And then persons like myself, we have XXY. You get me? So we're in the middle. But Obviously, my grandmother wouldn't know about them things. And as in Jamaican culture, we don't really speak about them things, innit? So not until I'm older now. Can get the paperwork from the doctors. Like on my on my um on my papers and that, like on the gender, but it will say blank. There's no there's no female, there's no male, there's no nothing like that. You get me? And I was non-time Yeah. I didn't know what to tell them. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we're gonna do, obviously, there's some people on the internet out there that don't have an understanding of these things, and they're gonna say some not nice things like a person that claims to be a community leader online trying to organize hate crime against me about I'm pretending to be something I'm not. That's just bullshit. How can I pretend to be something I'm not when I'm born with XXY chromosomes? Yeah, so what I did, let's come. Have a quick reasoning with my grandmother because sometimes it make your head chip, you know. Can you say, look at all these disgusting things these people are saying about you? And you think to yourself, you can only be quiet for so long. But at, at the end of the day, hold on, my people, let me take this, let me take this phone call. Hold on, my peeps. Hold on, my peeps. Hello. No, it's me, it's me, Adrian. it's me, it's me. Yeah. Do you want, I didn't forget the OXO. Do you want her to get the OXO for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you get, get the OXO, please? Yeah. I didn't see you. Right, well. Yeah. So instead of me doing things that are character, what I do, I come and have a reasoning with my grandmother. You get me? I come and speak with my grandmother and have a reasoning with her. And when I was, when I was born, on my piece of paper, what they did is they left my, um, my gender blank. They left it blank on the paper. Yeah, so where it says sex on there, they left it blank. Uh, what they, uh, they want to do is they want to allow me, when I get older, to decide what, what I want to do. So... When you look at this bit now, you'll see you sex a child, and then you see it says blank, there ain't nothing there. So when you look at this bit now, You'll see sex. Child, and then you see it says blank. There ain't nothing there. Yeah. So, as I said, no, 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 no explanation. What you have to, what you have to remember, yeah. We have to create awareness. As black people, we have to create awareness. Call. We don't like talking about these things and no, we must talk. We must talk and we must let people know. You understand what I'm saying to you? So as my grandmother said, I never asked to be born this way. And gra <laughs> my grandmother wasn't gonna kill me. None of us, none of them the family. So they only used to pick a friend away so, when you are teenagers growing. You were suffering and we don't know why you were suffering. Yeah, so my family then, 
they're not gonna kill me. I was born. They're not gonna die. I'm, I, I come from a family of love. You see this woman right here? I love this woman like my life. I'll kill for this woman. I'll kill for this woman. You get what I'm saying to you? You see that? Both chromosomes, both sets of chromosomes. Not, not genitalia, both sets of chromosomes. Yeah. I don't have no womb, no reds or no nothing like that. Nothing like that. That's why we both sets of chromosomes. So we're doing a documentary. Um, It'll be released. Just look out for it in 2024. It's released in 2024. We're actually filming it as we speak right now. Big up the BBC as well. And we're going to create some awareness to persons out there because it's one in every 500 people that are born with Klinefelter syndrome. Yeah, you can look up Klinefelter syndrome. You can't have uh, Klinefelter syndrome. So one in 500 uh, men are born with Klinefelter syndrome. So now that I'm older, it's good. Yeah, but it's good to create awareness. And it's also... So good to um speak with my grandmother as well because as I said my grandmother was wouldn't know about those things when the doctors are asking us certain questions and what she wants to do she wouldn't know about those things but one thing we know as we just said saw my grandmother would never kill me she would not say oh He's born with uh, male and female chromosomes, so kill him. We don't no want him. Remember your family, and I just. Yeah, I don't have no mum, but I have the rest of. I have the rest of. I have the rest of, you know. So, luckily for me, I have two mums. One of them, she passed away. I have another mum, she's very sick. I have my grandmother, that's three mums, actually. Yeah, I have my auntie, that's even four mums. All right, so exactly, Kim Brown, exactly that, exactly. So it's good for us to talk about these things. Um, my grandmother will be featuring into it as well. And um, big up police. Still on mute. Right. So huh. let's have a look at Klinefelter syndrome. Let's have a look at that first before we really dive deep into what's being said here. And did you notice as well when uh, he was talking about the condition and whatever and kind of trying to draw grandma into the conversation and she was sort of partly agreeing? Uh, and then she, she, the next thing she says is, you know, and they were asking me, do you have girlfriends? Do you have whatever? Do you have, you know, do you have boyfriends or whatever? And that was the narrative for grandma. Uh, and I'll get back to why I think that was in a minute, because I think grandma was thinking of something else. But let's get back to that. Let's look at Klinefelter syndrome, because people really need to understand what that is about and who gets Klinefelter syndrome. So let me share my screen again. This should be a lot easier. And let's go through it. Huh. One second, guys. Let's have a look, shall we? Right. Right, so let's look at it together. Um, quite right, you know, anyone can research it and regurgitate it. Um, it is 
a syndrome, sometimes called Klinefelter's uh, KS or XXY. It's where boys and men, so boys and men only, can be born with Klinefelter syndrome. Remember that. Only boys. Women do not get. Girls, baby girls, are not born with Klinefelter syndrome. syndrome. Only boys. So the chromosomes are packed and yeah, yeah, yeah. We know all of that stuff, right? So it says that symptoms of clinocentric, the symptoms of Klinefelter syndrome. Klinefelter syndrome does not usually cause any obvious symptoms early in childhood. And even the later symptoms may be difficult to spot. Many boys and men do not realize they have it. Possible features which are not always present may include in babies and toddlers, weak muscles and very flexible hypermobile joints, learning to sit up, crawl, walk and talk later than usual, being quieter and more passive than usual, having undescended testicles or only one testicle or a smaller penis. In childhood, shyness and low self-confidence, problems with reading, writing, spelling and paying attention, mild dyslexia or dyspraxia, low energy levels and difficulty socialising or expressing feelings. And these aren't a given. These are things that can happen. It says possible. All right. In teenagers, growing taller than expected for the family with long arms and legs, broad hips, poor muscle tone and slower than usual muscle growth, reduced facial and body hair that starts growing later than usual, small firm testes and enlarged breasts. In adulthood, inability to have children naturally, infertility, low sex drive, small firm testes and erection problems. And then it goes on to state um, all the different health issues that you can get from that, mental health issues, and so on and so on. All right, let's look at something else. I was looking at a bit of research earlier. Um, and I can't find it at the moment. I was looking at it yesterday, actually. Um, let's do it together, guys. So I'm putting in, because this person talked about uh, birth certificates being left blank. And I know for a fact that in the UK, birth certificates are not allowed to get leave, um, be left blank, right? There are only about three countries in the world where, where uh, people that are born as intersex or hermaphrodite or whatever congenital birth defect there is in terms of gender, there are only about three countries in the world where the, the birth certificate of that child can be left blank. It has to be something that is recorded. And I think later on uh, in this country, you can go for some kind of gender reassignment certificate as an add-on to whatever it is that you're doing. That's what I know. So let's have a look at it together, all right? And whoever wants to research it as well for themselves can do that as well. Uh, how do I turn this? In fact, no, let's, let's turn it like this. I don't even know if that's the right search term, but let's try it. Hmm. No, that's not going to be the one, actually. That's not a good way to term it. I don't know what I'm thinking. Maybe that will be, we'll bring it up. Let's have a look at this one. What does this say? What's this about? Variations in sex characteristics, a technical paper. I'm not sure we want to read through that, but let's see what it reveals. Right, so the Government Equalities Office has launched a call for evidence in order to help us better understand the experiences and needs of people in the UK who have variations in sex character characteristics. This is an emerging and complex area of social study. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Right, maybe chapter six could tell us. Sex assignment, birth and registration. That's it, right there. Eight key findings, sex, birth, registration, and correcting birth certificates. Through the government stakeholders engagement process, we are aware of concerns from adult representative organizations. So people have been lobbying for it. 
it seems like. Right. That's about gender reassignment, I do believe. Right, so the Births and Deaths Reg uh, Registration Act 1953 and the Births and Deaths Registration Northern Ireland Order 1976 require that the birth of every child born in England and Wales and Northern Ireland be registered within a period of 42 days, which we kind of know. Um, regulations footnote set out the particulars to be registered in Scotland. However, it is a legal requirement to reg register the child's birth and the sex and the sex within a period of 21 days. So that's for Scotland, right? La 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 la. The Births and Deaths Registration Act 1953 and Registration of Births, Deaths and Marriages, Scotland Act, do not prescribe how sex is to be determined or assigned. That's in Scotland. There is no provision for registering the birth of a child with unspecified or indeterminate sex. I repeat, there is no provision for registering the birth of a child with unspecified or indeterminate sex. Children are registered as either male or female in accordance with the information provided by the informant. All right. Right, this goes into gender reassignment, but this is the part of the legislation that I want you guys to look at. Now, that is from the .gov UK website. Let's look at when it was last updated. Let's have a look. Have a look at when it was last updated. Usually it tells you here, no? 17th of January 2019. That's when this particular website, .gov UK website, was last updated. All right. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Did you guys hear in the video when they said unequivocally uh and they showed us a piece of paper i actually um stalled the video at that point because they were trying to suggest that this was some sort of birth paper registration paper i don't know what that was but they specifically and categorically correct me if i'm wrong people and if i misheard something categorically stated that they were able to choose their gender but because of their condition that their birth certificate was left blank you guys remember that so you see all you minions that are chatting your foolishness on the page. This is about deception. This is not about sexuality. It is about deception. And we don't want to be fooled, especially with somebody who's perceivably a high profile DJ in our community. We don't want to be fooled. Um, someone says that is incorrect. I feel, well, I don't know. We're doing the research with the tools that we have given. If it's incorrect, bring it or jump on and let me know how it's incorrect. Because as far as I know, unless legislation has changed in those years, and I haven't seen evidence of it, I've been trying to look for that. Right? Um, ONS birth data is based on birth registration data collected by registrars. Well, give me a moment, and I'm going to go into it deeper. I'm trying to get to the right. I saw something last night, and I lost it. I didn't bother to. I should have saved it. Yeah? But I need to get back to it, because it was actually from the registrar's office, and I don't see It's not coming up. Maybe I should just type registrar's office or find it for me. Could somebody find it for me? Because I'm pretty sure that you have to register some sort of uh, sex on it. And it's changed later on uh, with intersex people. OK, and if it's Kleinfilter, it's only we've seen Kleinfilter only affects boys. So there would be no need to leave the birth certificate blank, whichever way you put it, right or wrongly, right? It's only affect, it only affects boys. It doesn't affect girls. It's a genetic disorder. And we heard uh, Styler say it himself, trying to break it down himself, probably broke it down better than I did. It only affects boys. It, they have a, an extra female chromosome, XXY. XX is girls. X, uh, uh, XY is a boy. And XXY is somebody with that condition, Kleinfelter condition, right? That's what he said. But if that's the case, then why would your birth certificate need to be left blank? Your, your sex would have been determined at birth. You were a boy with a genetic condition, with an extra chromosome, but you were a boy. 
smaller penis, hard testes, undropped testes, whatever. But you were a boy. So why on earth would it need to be left blank? Styler is a liar. Exactly, men are laugh. Yeah? Reason yourselves, people. You see, our people were too quick to believe hype, to believe foolishness. And all these things these people say about me, not one of them come with any bit of evidence. Not one of them come with their receipts. Not one of them come with any type of witness. It are just them sit up by the screen and I talk. And everybody's quick to believe it, but nobody asks for evidence. I come with my evidence and everybody keeps telling me, where's your evidence? What's wrong with you people? What is wrong with my people? I'm sick of them. Listen and research and learn and use your eyes, my people. Use your eyes. That's what you need to do. The man is a fraud and a liar. Why you tell your own words, Styler? Your own words, Shireen. Yeah? You said your birth certificate was left blank. All right? And I'm going to go on to talk about your shenanigans once I've proved who you actually are. OK, so let's look at some more evidence, people, because I'm only just getting warmed up. <laughs> Donna P says she said she doesn't have reds or a womb, but she doesn't. She didn't say she doesn't have a vagina. Well, you know, it is what it is. And we'll go on and talk about that in a minute. This person is not a good person. Let me talk a little bit about that now. This person is not a good person. Yeah, um, there was a case uh, which I believe that person I've been sent uh, footage uh, screen recordings, whatever it was at the time, of Styler himself talking about this case and vilifying the people them and one bag of things. You understand? Uh, and I've not been able to trace those people. I, I would have liked to, but I've certainly been, well, I've been able to speak to people that are very, very close to them, very, very close indeed, and who was, was, was close to the proceedings at the time. All right? Um, but we're working on that. Don't worry. I think there's going to be a part two and three to this because the level of barrage of stuff that's coming in, you've been a busy little bee, haven't you, Shireen? Right? Haven't you, Shireen? This is about deception. This is not about sexuality. How dare you? How dare you bring sufferers, male sufferers of Kleinfelter syndrome into disrepute? How dare you, Shireen? How dare you? How dare you think that you can manipulate your way through the straight female population, through the dance hall population, build yourself a platform, build yourself a hype to hide your dirtiness of what you've been doing. Raping women by deception, abusing women, turning your, you must, you must really hate women as a woman. Because for you to turn yourself into the most abusive, nasty little hombre, that's what you wanted to be. You must really hate yourself as a woman. Unbelievable. You know, I've spoken to quite a few of your victims, you know, who, especially those uh, from who's known you along the way. People who know you. You'd be surprised. And the things that you've done, the, the abuse that you've put on young girls when and, and lying about your age as well, which we're going to look at in a minute. Unbelievable. Try come for me on any type of hate crime. I will make sure that all my gay, lesbian and otherwise friends back me because I am not about that. This is about deception. That is what we're about. So let's see who's going to end up on a charge at the end of this because I'll tell you something, just like I said with Vincent Wright, and I haven't felt fired up like this for a while, probably not since him. Like I said to Vincent Wright, I'm not going to stop and if Vincent Rapp thinks I've stopped, let him think again. These things take time. Yeah? These things take time. There are a lot of victims that you have out there, Shireen, a.k.a. Styler. A lot of victims. And you're a wrong one. You're an absolute wrong one of the highest order. How dare you come and treat our little sisters like that? As a woman. As a woman. It's enough that we're on here fighting the fight that we're fighting, this movement having to come the way it has when there's the brothers abusing us. But as our own sister, beating up the girl them, raping them by default. Yes, they were willing at the time, but they thought that you were a man because you presented as a man and you insisted you were a man. Wickedness, wickedness and despicable. 
You can't chat to me coming on here and telling lies and trying to deceive the people. Which part of your birth certificate was you even showing? What was that piece of paper? It had lines on it. It looked like some sort of document. That was not a Bertie. That was nothing to do with birth, was it? Yes, my eyes are deceiving me. But let's see if my eyes are really deceiving me. Because you see him, we know, and the world knows, that uh, Georgia British, I don't know if sister's in the chat tonight, hopefully, uh, put up something on her platform that revealed his passport, right? Yeah, we know that. The world knows that. And I have a copy of that, which I will show, right? We know that. What we don't know is that he responded to that because he was pissed off uh, with somebody that he knows who was uh, an ex-member of his gal farm crew, right? Who I've been speaking to them, by the way, your gal farm crew, who you abused in Jamaica, robbed them out of their money about your taking them on a tour of Jamaica and all you did was bring them around in the lane in Kingston. No Duns River for them. Huh? No Marta Bria River for them. Bring them down in the lane for go, for go sit down with people. Yeah, that's part of it, I suppose, if that's your flavour. But you robbed those people and they got very angry with you. And they saw your scars where you'd had your breast removal when you took your shirt off. It was very hot, wasn't it? Shireen. Hmm. Wow. This is when it started. Very young at that time, fooling up the little young girls, boxing them up and beating them up whenever he fancied it in a relationship. Yeah. Raping them by default because they thought he was a boy. She was a boy. Okay. Uh, making up excuses as to why you could not have penetrative with them until eventually you would with a very well oiled strap on. Let me not go too deep here tonight. My bit, my stomach's turning for this predator. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm coming in strong because you're a woman doing what you're doing. You're out of order. Right, let's see if you are a man or a woman, shall we? Let's have a look at what we've got here. Hmm. So this is the screenshot of uh, the passport. Now, what I want everybody to do, yeah, before we even get into any of that, I want everybody, uh, if you've got your passport near to you, okay, if you've got your passport near to you, Go and grab it right now and study it. I was going to put mine up, but you know what my trolls are like. They'll probably be onto the passport office asking them to take away my British citizenship, even though I'm born and bred here. Um, so I'm not putting mine up. But go and grab yours if it's nearby, okay? I want you to study this very, very, very closely, all right? So this is the one that um, was up on Sister's page, on, on Juju British page, all right? Let's look at that. It looks like a normal passport. It says Shireen Joy Marzella. British citizen, born the 3rd of July, way, a day before me, uh, 3rd of July, 86, which would make them around 37 at the moment or thereabouts. All right. Normal passport. Not much to look at if you don't know what you're looking at, but it does say it's a woman. I don't think we can see the picture at the moment, but I do have other examples. All right. Thank you. Can you guys DM me with any uh, leads that you have or if you've been affected by this person? and you're, you're not feeling able to speak publicly, you can DM me and message me on at AfroRose69, uh, and we can talk about it. Because if we get enough of a cohort of women together, those whose cases have failed in the past can reopen, and it's definitely something that can be brought, this person can be brought to justice, because it's wrong. It is wrong. All right? So anyway, that's the first one. So let's look at that. Good. Get your passports out and compare it. You'll see that they are very similar in the way they look, in the font that's being used, that the British Passport Office use, and so on, right? Now, where is this stuff? <clears throat> you see a ginnel? I don't, I don't like a ginnel. I really don't like people that think they can pull the wool over people's eyes. And one of the first things that I notice about this individual on the Roper Crop Alive is that they thought, because they were around a bunch of Jamaican people who uh, you might as well say English, you know, Queen's English, if you like, for want of a better expression, is their second language. They thought they could style up the people them and use certain big words and articulation 
in order to subjugate people and win the argument. And I detest people like that. I detest people who, our people, who think they can do that to their own people. I hate it. And that's why I make myself as simple as I possibly can on this platform. I can debate the best of them with their highbrow terms, but we don't have to talk like that to each other. Hmm. Right, so let's get into it. Let's look at the vo the, um, the reaction that uh, Styler had to this thing being sent out and being shared um, around, okay? Because the, the person that he's messaging, who's shared these uh, WhatsApp messages with me, um, is an ex-member of Gal Farm, and she had reposted, I think, Judge's uh, original post with the, with the passport. So he, he was responding by uh, speaking to this sister. So the first text is him sending the, as you can see, she's got his name there. I don't have his number, so it's not from my WhatsApp. Um, I don't know what this means. Girl, you need to stop now. Okay, you lost your friends due to your own pagan actions. I don't. I think that's him sending that to her. And then he shows uh, the passport, which says Shireen Joy Marcella Blackwood. So it's been posted and we've seen the eyes. That's Judge British's post. All right. So this is him responding to the post. And then the next one says, they go on to have a, a bit of a back and forth about it. Uh, okay. So a lot being said here. I don't know if this is the beginning or the end, actually. It might be. All right. So this might be the end one. Got that one back to front, as you do. Let's go to the next one. So there's a back and forth anyway. That's pretty much what's happening here. All right. And you can see uh, he's not well, she's not well pleased. So I said what I said, you F up and you soon learn. Left it deso. Why was you not on your social chatting me with my kids in your mouth? My kids, them good. What business is it of yours? I said what I said as me, um, I left it right deso. And then the person says, F your granny. That's who he's talking about, not me. Uh, and that person actually pointed that out to me. He's talking about me. They said, Afua. He's not talking about you. And I said, I know. I know he's talking about someone. Uh, definitely not me, because I didn't tell him to F his granny. I would never do that. I respect my elders. But you know what? There was a reason for it. And I'll show you why that, that person said that. Because it wasn't out of turn. It wasn't out of turn at all. Um, he goes on. They're reacting, they're having an argument. Says you're still a type. Anyway, there's all if you change sex, then have to honor that and change your ID to um, so what do you what do three IDs prove? Because he'd said in the voice note here to this per to, to this person that he's got three IDs. So what are you lot talking about? Uh, uh and then he goes on. This person also bears witness that he's very good at changing IDs and that he provided them with uh, a COVID certificate to go to Nigeria, which was fake. Uh, and that's their MO. They're very good at all of those types of things. But not that good. I'll show you why in a minute. I think there is a part here. I don't know if it's this bit. I've shown it already. I don't know. I think there's a bit where he says, I'm going to get my granny on you. But you guys can read that for yourselves. They're having an argument about the post, all right? And he says, I'm going to get my granny on you. <laughs> Poor granny, man, being dragged into this madness. So at the end of that, um, it's all a bit mixed up, guys, but you get the gist. But at the end of it, she says, F you and your granny for that reason. There is a context to everything. Don't quite quote the people out of context and definitely don't try to make out like it's me that said it. Horrible. Anyway, he responds by sending her a copy of his real passport, according to him. Her. Chim. So he says, when you have a post, post and post, good, post and post, good, not what people send you. Um, I don't know what A3 means. If me have P-U-S-S-Y, you see, um, you see how the two of them left you. you. You're the fool to post this. So then he sends a copy of his real passport, allegedly. And it's a, a, a guy's name, which I'm going to show you in more detail, guys. 
Right, so let's examine these two separate passports. One posted up by Juju, okay, uh, which I believe to be the original passport, Shireen Blackwood, and the other sent to this sister by DJ Styler as proof that the one that is up on Juju's page is fake. So he's saying that this is his real passport, all right? Let's have a look at it in more detail, guys. Look good and remember what you were looking at when I showed you the, the Shireen one, okay? Remember what you were looking at. Hmm. Let's look at it in more detail. So here's Shireen's passport, right? Look normal to you guys, looks pretty normal to me. Looks like a regular passport, looks like my passport. Look good, people. Right, now here is the passport that Styler provided to the sister, okay? And the name on that is not Shireen Blackwood, but Terrell Jordan Chandos Blackwood. So he's claiming that that's his original uh, passport. He is indeed a boy that has Kleinfelter syndrome because only boys can get it, remember? And that's what they're alleging is their real passport. In... Uh, contradiction to the passport that Georgia posted up and saying that that one is fake. I'm repeating it because I want you guys to be absolutely clear. So let's look at the two passports in more detail. Let's look at Shireen's first, all right? Let's look at Shireen's first. It's got the name. In fact, not that one, sorry. Right, let's look at the name on that passport, all right? Shireen Joy Marcella Blackwood, top British citizen. Now there's two, there's a distinct thing that I noticed when you look at the, ah, look there. So I've blown it up there for you guys. Look really good at this passport. When you look at the Blackwood and you look at the British, look at the name Terrell Jordan Chandon. Look good. Terrell Jordan Chandon. Look at the T on Terrell and look at the T on British. They're two different fonts. You're not that good at, at Photoshop, are you, Shireen? Look at the T on Terrell. They are two different fonts. And look at the T under British. Look at it. It's two different fonts, okay? And also look at the name Terrell Jordan. Those are separate names. They're supposed to be uh, middle names, first name, or whatever. The Terrell and the Jordan forgot to put a space between it, all right? That's the first thing. <laughs> wow. Wow. And they've also changed the date of birth here from uh, July to the 21st of August. So a different birthday, making themselves younger, which is characteristic of uh, what the victims and witnesses have told me they do. All right. So this is the fake ID. But you know why they're not clever? Not only have they made this mistake with the font, Terrell Jordan and, and, and the space in between Jordan and Chandon. Look at your own passport and see how it's set up. Now let's look at Shireen's and see how it's set up. Yeah, there's more. Let's look at Shireen's and see how it's set up. Because that's crazy to me. Can you guys see that? Two different fonts, two different typefaces. And we've seen where that was sent to the sister by him, this one as proof of he's a man. Why? Why them wicked sir? Let's look at sister's passport. Let's look at that in more detail. Look at it good. There is a space between all the names. Blackwood at the top, Shireen, Space, Joy, Marzella. And if I can pick out, let's say the, uh, 
see if there's any comparable. Well, you can see it for yourself. Look at the, the letters and look at how it matches up with the British citizen part. Yeah, it's the same typeface from the Blackwood, all of it. I don't think that the British passport office uh, would be making that kind of mistake. Do you? But it goes further. This is why these people ain't smart. And this is why when you're going to come and try to send for Afua, you better know what you're doing. Because we do our due diligence. And we're not no fools out here. You might be able to fool the people that you bedazzle and trick, but you cannot fool us. Styler. Styler's your name. I wonder why you chose that name. Let's look even further. So let's look at Shireen's passport number now, shall we? 52391465. All right. And we can see Marzella in the corner there. So we know that, and, and the birthday, 86, the birth year. So we know that's Marzella, Shireen's passport number okay now let's look at terrell's passport number five two three nine one four six oh five and we know it's uh terrell's because it says his name there and we've got the 91 birthday and shandon being one of the middle names of terrell but it's the same passport number it's the same passport number people Tell me how that go. Tell me how that go. The same passport number. All I know is, is that since I know myself and I've been getting my passport, yeah, we don't get the same passport number twice. Same passport number. You understand? This is what they've presented, as well as telling us that your, your birth certificate was left blank, which doesn't happen in England. Yeah? How much more lies are you telling, Shireen? How much more lies are you telling? How many more women are you deceiving, pretending that you're a man when your name is not Terrell, your name is Shireen, and you have been fooling women and having sex with straight women? Why don't you just go and try and get lesbians and tell them what you are? That's what we're upset about. The deception. The deception it has nothing to do with your sexuality whatsoever. We love our black brothers and sisters, whether they're gay, straight, lesbian, or whatever. Don't you dare try it. You're a deceiver and you are you rape by deception and you abuse our sisters. You are worse in my eyes than any perpetrator, male perpetrator that I've ever called out in my life. You are despicable. Despicable. Unbelievable. Try to take it down. Yeah, yeah, you can. We'll repost it in little small sound bites all over the internet. You are bang out of order. And I want everyone to screen record and post, post, post on their platforms. This is wrong. It's wrong. There ain't no full birth certificate running around telling people that when, whenever they tried to, when they got close to the truth and discovered who you really are um, and, and wondered why your people, including your grandmother, used to call you by the name Shireen, including poor granny that you love to deceive and, and, and twist up her brain till she's up in egg. You're wicked. Twist up her brain and draw her into narratives a poor woman don't even know why I go on. She gave it away when she said, and we used to, they used to ask, if you have boyfriend, boyfriend, she's talking about when you were coming up as the lesbian that you are uh, and people were wondering what you were about and you were dressing as boys and doing whatever. I bet that's what the woman was talking about. You're wicked. Wicked. There's more. I'll show you some more on this passport thing. More indiscrepancies. Oh, sorry, more discrepancies. Unbelievable stuff. Let me see if I, I took that one. Hmm. If you guys look closely, I don't know if I got the, the bottom of it. I thought I did. So let's look at this one here. Right. So look at Shireen's passport, the original passport, okay? And look down here. In between each name, you know we've got our names at the bottom. In between each name, Blackwood, Shireen. Joy, Marzella, there are arrows, which is normal on the passport. It's, it's certainly on my passport when I have a look at it. And then let's look at Terrell's one now down the bottom. Let's look at Terrell's. 
Juju, I hope you're in the thing, you know, because I want you to blow up the place tomorrow morning. I'm not lie. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the uh, link out in a bit, and I want people to jump on because this is not this should not be allowed to continue. This is horrible. I can't even reveal some of what I've heard because a lot of people want to remain silent. They feel embarrassed. That's why they want to remain silent. Some of them are scared of you because of the treatment that you give them, and some of them are just plain straight up embarrassed. And I don't blame them. Right, so where's his one at, at the um, bottom now? Mm. All right. Right, so if you observe the bottom of the one that he pro she provided, yeah, I don't know if I did a blow up of it, but you can see here that there aren't enough, between Terrell and Jordan at the bottom, there's no arrow. It's just that one word again. You can see where they've done it and they've they've copied and pasted it or photoshopped it onto the name itself and they've done the same thing, just lifted it off and put it at the bottom as well. Do you know what? If you were going to try and deceive people with that, you should have been a lot more savvy than that, mate. I, I ain't even good at these things and I spotted it. And I, I oh, Jesus, I would have had a better effort than that. You're disgraceful, absolutely disgraceful. You know what? I'm, I'm going to rest my case right there. I'm actually I need to stop talking for a bit while I catch my breath, because this is a terrible, terrible act of violence, of, of abuse and emotional violence against our sisters by another woman. My goodness. Where are the minions? Come and defend your thing now. Come and tell me I'm homophobic. Come and tell me this is about sexuality. Come on, jump on. Let me put it on. I don't expect it to be quiet tonight, you know. If it is, I'm just going to turn off my camera and go to my bed. Honestly, I don't expect it to be quiet tonight. And I expect to hear from you, you, Shireen Blackwood, a.k.a. DJ Styler. I expect to hear from you, but I know I won't. You're running an idol. You're going to try and claim that you're depressed and that you want to kill yourself so that people feel sorry for you because you're a manipulator. That's what you're going to try and do. You're going to go and hide or you're going to go and try and reinvent yourself in another cohort, another group that's nothing to do with dance hall and all these people that know about you now because you've done that all the, all the time you do that, according to the people that know you. This is what you do. So your latest deception was in dance hall. And I, and this is me, Afu was saying this, I'm starting to doubt that dance that, that uh, uh, Substance was in, that party, I'm starting to doubt if A, Danger and uh, her man had anything to do with it at all. We'll see. Although, I don't know, because they haven't been responding to my request to organise the uh, lie detector test where, by comparison, Substance and her husband are chomping at the bit, saying, when, 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 Afua, do we do this test? Whereas them lot have not been responding to my messages. So, mm -hmm. But at the very least, I believe if they were involved, then certainly you were too, Mr. Styler, Miss Shireen Blackwood, because it's your MO. Everywhere you go, somebody seems to come up drugged. And you always seem to slip out of it through manipulation, through manipulating people and, you know, getting them to feel sorry for you or bullying them or whatever kind of manipulation you do, you're dangerous. You have not only a narcissistic personality trait, but a psychopathic one as well. People, not all, all psychopaths are homicidal. And, and, you know, that's in question with this individual. It is that deep, the pathology of this woman. Let me put out the link, people. Put out the link. While the link's going out uh, and people are waiting to join, because I know there's a few people want to jump on on this, all right? While that's going on, I'm just going to turn off my camera for a hot minute because this thing has disturbed me so deeply that a woman could behave in this way. So deeply. I can't even believe what I'm seeing. I really, really can't. Give me a moment, people. Jump on, guys. Jump on.
Blessed love, Kay. Blessed love, Kay. Hi. Hi there. What do you want to say, sis? Welcome to Afro Speaks Community Conversations. Oh, hi. How are you doing? So what is I'm this? Right. Is, this a, is this a separate one? No, you're on the live. You're live right now. We're talking. Oh Sis. wow! Hi, yeah. how are you doing? I'm yeah. Right. Like what do you I, want to say? Like I said, we well, I have known of, you know, this individual since two thousand and five. Mm -hmm. Um, we've known of this individual two thousand and five, and we know that they are a female. They were right. the first. They were the first studs. Do you understand? Right. You, you know, right. Just admit right. It. Yeah, the, the age would line up with that from what I know of the, the yeah. black gay community, definitely. Uh, you know, so it's it just to come out full with chest that, that way, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. A, just admit it. Like, I've known, you know, of him from when he used to get beaten up. Oh. You know, and all yeah. of those things and, and whatnot. Just be yourself. You know what I mean? You're bringing your grandma into this, you're doing this, you're doing that. You know, there was someone that I knew that he was with for years and uh -huh. weren't sleeping with them, beating them up. Yeah. You know what I mean? We know that you're a female. Admit it. His, admit her name it. is Shireen. Yeah. And she yeah. used to say that that was her twin. Right. I heard this from other people. Yeah. Yeah. Tell no, me about it's not. A, it's not a twin. It is her. And we know there, there is no twin. There if there's a twin, why is the twin not out defending exactly? Where's your brother? sister? Yeah, where is the sister? Where's your sister? You know, so it's just one of those things where we, the things that you're saying is correct. That part uh -huh. is correct. I've yep. known of this individual for a very, very long time, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we know who you are. Just admit it, just stop admit talking it. all the different things, just admit it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's wrong, it's wrong, like you said, Awful. just admit it. And and for me, if you're if that is your persuasion, then that's what you should do. You should go for women who are also of that persuasion where there is full consent. What you shouldn't do is try to bamboozle straight women, heterosexual women, into believing that you're a man because they're heterosexual, they're gonna want you. Um, and and not only abusing them, but manipulating them, lying to them, tricking them, uh, emotionally destroying them because they fall in love with the man. Yeah, I think it's a game. It's a game. It's a game. But like you're trying to get straight women. Because mm -hmm. I've got into arguments with so many females. I'm like, so you're a lesbian because this is a woman. And we would get up, get into, I'm like, it's a female. Tell, tell the truth. Just tell the truth, you know? And it's just, it's not nice. And it's, it's not nice to see what's happening, but you've brought it onto yourself. And it's about time. This has been mm -hmm. going on for 20 odd years. You weren't yeah. born in 1991. I was born in 1991. And when mm -hmm. I met you, my age and your age weren't the same someone just made a good point in the comments actually who knows why was the granny not talking about the twin absolutely exactly, exactly. you know so we, when when i met this individual i was like 13 14 you was like 18 19 so we you know come on you know so wow that's one way back sis one second sis hhu you're trying to join but can you please Keep your camera on until you get in and then turn it off. You can face it towards the ceiling. I don't know if you can hear me, but your camera's not on, so I can't. Yeah, come back in, HHU, and um, keep your camera on until you get in and then turn it off. Because I'll have you backstage before I bring you on anyway, so you can turn it on and off at that point. I won't put you on until it's off, okay? Try and get back on, HHU, if you're serious. Go ahead, sis. So you, you knew the individual from, how old did you say, 15? Eight, yeah, 19? no, no, like 13, 14. I was 13, 14, oh. and I'm 1991. So you was older than me. Right, and right. So it's one of those things where it's just like we, we've known of you for years and we accepted you. You was always accepted, but mm -hmm. you just lied. And every time we got close to finding out about you, you would cut us off. Like they have different friendship groups all the time. Do you understand? Right. So it's just admit it. Stop talking about all of these different, um, these different. You can turn your camera off now, HHU, and um, I'll get to you in a second. Let me just mute you up. But we Stop. can't see you at the moment. You can turn your camera off now if you want. Stop talking about all of these different, you know, 
uh conditions that you have and just admit it you're a female you like women because i knew him when he had breasts right. and it was just, it was just as recent you removed the breast mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying like we've we've yeah. we've seen this for years just just come forward and tell that's the truth. it there's nothing to fear what's it all you know about? Well, you're bringing your granny into this like oh. i've had friends that i've known that's come to your house and your grandma is calling you shireen admit it <laughs> admit it like come on now stop it now just come clean come clean you've got your partner in the chat you know i want her ask to see his genitals right now go on yeah yeah you, um, come on. you know the people i've spoken to very good at manipulating and saying you know i respect you too much or i've got an issue down there or whatever it is Yes, style always lies. It yeah, always. To style it out. The thing yeah. is, because obviously you treat them good, you take them on holiday, you do all of those things. Mm -hmm. Because if you're taking me on holiday for free, I'm not going to give you my front. So, no problem. I'm getting my free holiday. So then Jump back on, HHU. I'm interested to hear what you've got to say. Jump back on. Yeah, go ahead, sis. So, yeah, it's just, it's about time. Just admit it now. Admit it. You'll be, ex it's a chance that you just take the heat. You'll be accepted. You'll have your own community. And just stop the lies. Stop it. You are And, and also, I'm sure that they would rest better in themselves. I mean, you can't be at peace with all of that, you know? Not oh, at all. God, not at all. all. It's a lot of not easy, you know? No, they're not. Can you see? What oh, my God. <laughs> I told you not to keep it clean, yeah? Sorry, sis. Go ahead. Yeah, you so... Know that in Jamaica, they say you have to take bad sinting, mate, joke. My God. That's just basically it, you know? That's all that I have to say. I came in thinking, you know, the live was going somewhere else. I didn't know I was going to be speaking. But it's just, just talk the truth. Just, just say the truth. We've known him. I've known of him for a very, very long time. We know that you are a female. And, you know, there's no need for anyone to out you or any of those things. Just... Tell the fully truth. SK, it, you can. Oh, brilliant! That's right, fully SK. I'll come to you in a second, sis. Yeah, no, no worry. Worry. let fully SK take the the stage. All right, don't go anywhere, K. Okay? No. Um, uh, blessed love, fully SK. Say that again. Blessed love, fully SK. You're good live. Night, good night, everyone. Hi. Hi. Good night. Good night. Good night. I just want to give a bit of what I know. You understand? Uh -huh. It's facts. Cause a lot of people know why they don't want to talk about. I don't know. So. The first time this person was, this individual was brought to my attention was in 2013 mm -hmm. when a close friend of mine asked me if I knew about the sound system dancehall syndicate. Oh. So at the time, dancehall syndicate was quite active in the dancehall parties, mainly okay. in South London. So uh -huh. at the time, I heard of them, but they used to do more UK dancehall bookings as opposed to the, the Jamaican dancer scene, you know? Right, so, right. She, she said to me, you know, the female DJ, you know, she's having a sex chain. But at the time, I didn't know who this person was. She sent mm -hmm. me a picture. I was like, okay, each to their own. Mm -hmm. Ten years later, we had COVID. Okay. And Styler seemed to appear out of nowhere. Okay. And it's as if this individual used COVID as a forefront. Car. COVID, a lot of people use, like, social media to you know, show their talent, show their, who was DJing and things there. And mm -hmm. then after lockdown, a lot of people... You've got a bit of background noise there, so... So, I just believe in myself that COVID for him was a good... <laughs> Sorry, you're breaking up a bit, sis. Oh, Kay's okay, so got a cough. ...as a forefront to kind of disclose the background. Because uh -huh. it's, it's like that's up from Sky. Sis, have you got an earpiece in? Have you got an earpiece in, sis? Sis, 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 can you hear me? Have you got an earpiece in or anything? No, I haven't. Because I don't know if you've got your phone in your pocket, but there's a lot of interference or something. We can barely hear you. I'm going to come off and come back. I'm going to go find my other phone and come back. Come off and come back in. Wonderful. Um, uh, Kay, jump back on, sis. I want to I wanna ask you a few more questions, Kay. Jump back on for me, please, sis. Let's create a little panel tonight. And anyone else? Find the courage, people. I don't think that we can uh, really take anything that this individual says as word. 
So you see that whole little narrative that he did build about substance and her husband at the party and this and that. There was a whole heap of narrative there. From what I've heard of this individual, that's, that can't be true. I feel like substance and her husband are, are partly exonerated. Yeah, until we and we're gonna seal it up with the uh the lie detector test. But so far we've got a sociopath telling lies about who they are and, and abusing women, yeah, bearing witness for a set of people that are refusing to engage in a DNA test. I mean, <clears throat> do we need any more evidence, people? I don't know. Pop a one if you feel that we need more evidence to prove that Substance and her husband are, de are, 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 are innocent. Proper one, while we're waiting for sisters to come back on. Let's get engaged. <laughs> wow. Wow. Where are the pics of Styler as a you? Well, I've shown you a pic of him when he started, of her, when she started to post as a boy and be a boy. You know, poor granny. A granny me feel sorry for, you know. Uh, and going around telling people that your old girl's dead. Oh, my God. You, 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 your, your mother is in a mental institution. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no shame. I think Styler could have drugged that drink or at least provided the substances. I really do. I really, really do. Too much. You should have kept yourself quiet. Kept yourself under the radar, really. If you wanted to get uh, this little game, if you wanted to keep this little game going on, most of the people are saying ones, for real. For real, this person can't be bearing witness and representing nobody, representing anybody. Shame on you, danger and Frenchie. Shame on you. You lot should denounce him right now. Denounce him. Dance all is supposed to denounce that. Because I'm really sorry, yeah? I'm sorry for granny, man, not the granny. Leave granny out of it, out of your wickedness. She seems like a lovely woman. Leave her out of it. And the only reason the sister said F your granny is because you keep wheeling out granny like granny's some kind of gangster that's going to hurt people. I want them to you. I bet you're going to get your granny onto her. She said F your granny and you. People say it, you know, I'm not saying I agree. People say it. That's what it is. I don't know if people are coming back on. Others, jump on, man. I want to hear from you. I do. I do, I do, I do. Give me a moment there, people. I need to make a call. See what's going on with certain things. Yes, man. Hmm. I was just reading some of the comments there. Um, look, you guys are, are going to agree or disagree. I'm not saying it, Sila. I said I, I think it could be. Bearing in mind that this person is unreliable. They're unreliable. You can't get that. This person who's lied and done all the things that they've done, yeah, and, and abused women and done all these things and they've got this shady character and past and is willing to fake passports and do all kind of manners of evil. You can't rely on that person's testimony. You know, what is it about that you people don't understand, really? You can't rely on that kind of testimony. You can't. 
Not at all. Repost the link. Okay, right. You've lost the link. I get it. I was wondering why it was a bit quiet. And I want to know where all the minions are. Come on and tell me why I'm purporting hate crime. You, Styler. You, Shireen. Come on and tell me why this is a, a hate crime that I'm organising. I'm not organising anything. You've hurt a lot of people. And if people are coming together to speak their truth, that is not organising hate crime. Don't try to flip the script. You're not that clever. If you were that clever, you would have fake up your, your man passport a little bit better than what you did. It was a really, really shoddy job. Really shoddy job. I was quite surprised, actually, because you speak like you're clever. But you're not. Not at all. Uh, and you should have you should have thought about the fact when you claimed Kleinfelter syndrome. That to me is despicable because there's people suffering. It's, it sounds like quite a nasty little syndrome. That's despicable. But when you were claiming that up, you there's a link, people. You should have thought about why it is on the one hand you were claiming Kleinfelter syndrome, and on the other hand you were telling us that your you know your your birth certificate had been left blank when clearly. Kleinfelter syndrome is only experienced by boys. So your, your birth certificate couldn't have been blank. It's too much. We've got the birth certificate being blank. You lying about that. We've got you showing some dodgy paper. I don't even know to this day what that is. You lying about that. We've got you manipulating grandma. Grandma wanting to talk about how people used to ask if you got boyfriend or not. Because you clearly were coming out as gay. Fully SK is back. Brilliant. All right, for the SK, turn your camera off, sis, if you don't want to be seen. No, All right, we got you back. Bless us. Yeah. Can you hear me now, Becca? Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, so um, I'm not sure where I quite cut out before, but just uh -huh. a quick recap um, mm -hmm. for those that weren't here. So, heard about this individual about 10 years ago, was told that female DJ of a well known South London sound system uh -huh. was having a sex change. Didn't really think nothing of it because the individual wasn't known to me. Okay. Then this individual appeared out of nowhere during COVID. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. again, didn't really look at it at anything because COVID bought out a lot of DJs and artists and so forth. So there was a bit of, you know, talk around that time. Mm -hmm. It's this person. It's this person. Mm. From my understanding, um, the individual had recently been... Um, charged with an assault, a sexual assault, yes, on another female, yes. But then apparently the charges were dropped or something along those no, lines. No, the charges weren't dropped. The usual stuff with these kinds of cases, um, they bus case. They, they went yeah. to trial. It did go to trial. Yeah, I do yeah. know that. Um, it did go to trial and so forth. Um, also at the same time, there was a well. There's there's also another DJ that used to be around the individual. Very often, okay. yeah, they okay. played at a lot of events together, quite close in my eyes, and I'm sure in a lot of other individuals' eyes. And someone actually pinched that person and said, you know, say, rare, rare, rare is really our woman. Mm. And what he did moving forward from there is he actually confronted the individual, confronted Styler, and said, you know, say, me ear, say, rare, rare, rare. And mm. I believe he did that out of rating because he... Again, he when he's ready, he does vlogging. So he could have taken it to the internet on a mix-up thing. But he did approach Styler and ask about it. And rather than be the friend, if you claim you have a condition, he turned around and disrespect the individual and run him. So from there now, the individuals always just come back to us and, uh, you know, say me, yes, say this and my ask Styler and before Styler, Styler run me. And a lot of people, a lot of the females around him, you Ron know, Ron she sorry, no man. Around she, yes, <laughs> have fallen out with Styler, and yeah, from yeah. my understanding, I believe that there are a few individuals who have also signed NDAs, so they're not allowed. Oh, to speak yes, I it. heard about this, sis. I um, heard about so about if you know if they do, if they do fall out and speak about it, then obviously she's able to sue them, right? Um, also, wow, there's people in the industry that know the individual very well, went college mm -hmm. with the individual. You know, there was a picture that turned up with mm -hmm. she and her girlfriend in bed. Them times she did still have her breast them. Okay. In at the girl farm t-shirt them. Okay. I did have a copy of that picture, but you know, when you lose your phone and things like that. Oh, I, I wish we could see so it. So I was trying to get a hold of that. But also at the same time, the girlfriend, um, who's very vocal about all of this, who is a known lesbian, 
she is the cousin of a very, 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 very close friend of mine. And my close friend has confirmed that with me. You understand? Mm -hmm. Her daughter is a mm -hmm. lesbian and her daughter is the cousin of Styler's girlfriend. So again, that is, you know, it's been confirmed on that side to me that, you know, say is a woman for true. Mm -hmm. You understand? And there's also a few other individuals in South London who are also transitioning, you know, transitioning from female to male. Mm -hmm. Styler's also quite active in that circle. They do mm -hmm. keep a lot of bus parties and a lot of private events which again, Styler tends to host a lot of those parties. Mm -hmm. If you notice, the circle around Styler is an all-female crew. Everybody know Wagwan. None okay. of them now hide it. They all know Wagwan. Okay. There, there was a female around them. I can't remember her name. Mm -hmm. um, she's originally from Wolverhampton. Okay. Now, not to, not to really go into too much of her case, but she had an incident with her partner where okay. he had taken her to court in regards to custody of the children. Oh. And he actually lost the case. Now, yeah. Styler had influenced her to leave Wolverhampton and come to London around him, which she did. And she came to London with the children. Now, the baby father was trying to get the children back. And in doing so, he created a page on Instagram where he revealed all the pillow talk that him and the baby mother had in regards to Styler. Mm -hmm. Really, at Oman and released the name. He even put out the picture of Sherry in Blackwood with purple and black, well, I remember it, one purple and black week, half purple, <laughs> half black, you know, one purple and white top mm -hmm. on the page to say, this is Styler. But then he wow. quickly took the picture down. Okay. So then, who managed to get a copy of the picture, got it, and who didn't, didn't. Again, wow. unfortunate for me, I had to change my phone last year because my phone became damaged. So again, a lot of my things weren't, able to be backed up because I did have a copy of that also. I heard, I heard that it's this is an issue that comes up every so, every so often, every few years. It's something that comes up very often and a lot of people mm -hmm. need to look at it as well. It's, they would think that the dancehall scene has tolerated it, but the ones in the dancehall that have tolerated are just like him. He used mm -hmm. to be oh. just like she. Sorry now, man. <laughs> to be honest, a lot of the bookings, the horse party them, mm -hmm. style used to get the whole of the booking them from 2020 come all right up to even in our last year but as of recently <laughs> you know the bookings haven't really been in the dance hall scene because okay. why many people's eyes have opened up and styler again has been deceptive you know very this you know he's deceiving everybody she's deceiving everybody. everyone it's the deceit everyone. it's you the know? deceit that's, that's what, what it is I'm each so to their I'm own gonna... you know right it's, you know you have gay individuals uh -huh. That pocket brawling is whether you like them or you don't like them. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know of females that have transitioned transitioned into men, mm -hmm. and they don't hide it. They're proud of who they are. Exactly. Everyone has a story, but Styler now just seems to want to hide it. And anyone that you know questions her about it, they she about switch, she, switch, she switches yeah. and tries to bring that person down. Mm -hmm. And that's what I don't understand. And then you're quick to turn around and, uh, you know, blame everyone else. And I just believe that the humil humiliation that was caused by his by her mother is the reason why she goes around manipulating females. Do you, uh, tell me about that, sis. You tell understand? And it's not fair. It's disgusting the things that I've heard. You know, yeah, I tell people say your old your old get bite off by a dog, and oh yeah, Elan. I heard, I heard that actually. I heard it's, that it's out like people, people, yeah. people talk. Yeah, people talk. But like for I said me, I've spoken to over 20 individuals in the last 48 hours. That's it. I, heard, I did hear that. Yeah. But for me, some of the individuals that are speaking out is because, you know, the deception. Some of the yes. ones that are speaking out have actually tolerated it. They've known about it. If anyone asks or question questions it. They defend Styler, mm. but then the minute them and Styler have an issue, they're quick to out him on it they're or out her on it. it. Yeah. You know, yeah. so again, I, fi me, I figured I figured that by some of the associations that some of the people told me they had and they used to yeah. you know, you the deception. But I spoke you know, to a lot. It was more victims than those people, to be fair. But yeah, ahead. it's the deception for me. I've got both yeah. girl picnic and boy picnic. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to know I said a man out there a change and I want woman and is deceiving my son exactly. and vice versa. Vice versa. A woman, a change and I want man and I deceive my daughter. 
Why? It was only a couple of days ago I see a video on TikTok that a man put out. And a man say, yo, I'm find that woman, find that person, yeah. And it's when you look on the person, the prettiest woman. My officer said, woman, because that is what I see in front of me. As so, a woman, I said, no, man, a woman, you look decent, she up good everything. Right. You understand? But he cock up everything, breast look stiff up everything. The minute the video start play, and the more walk up is a living man. Hmm. You see the Adam's apple are beating at the throat. Mm -mm. It's the deception. It's the deception. And enough of them are do it, and I live in a 2023, and I deceive people, Pitney. Exactly. It's wrong, and we should it's bond wrong out with that. But they hide behind this whole new agenda of defending transphobics and what trans you know of, of uh, vilifying transphobics and homophobics and whatever they hide behind that but it's not about that it's about your deception we it's not about that exactly coming out with chess and saying yeah i'm gay so what that's you know it what? and the gay the gay the gays are not deceiving no they're the community, not community and know? he's bringing them down like don't don't try to claim any of that that's it you understand don't try to claim that and don't try to claim an illness a condition that people have i think that is very disrespectful as well sis that's it it definitely is hmm. you know and then to use a condition that you yourself don't even understand they don't even have that condition because you're a girl and only boys can be born with it you understand we've got people that known them since they were 15 years old they're saying just give it up man stop it's what disgusting it's disgusting it's disgusting but at the same time people are gonna have even like talking about the register that's something that i've heard myself you know but with the register many people don't know the register is not a lifetime thing You're it's able to not and it's highly register. protected it's not we don't have a public register in this country exactly if it was, so, we'd all be able to google it and look it up i don't it, know about that i didn't research that part of it to be fair yeah after a certain time from what i know it to be around 10 years you're able to appeal for whatever information has been documented to be removed. So, mm -hmm. you know, talking about enhanced DBS and blah, blah, blah. He's I don't mind none of that. You and I know that. Sissy. To know that you're even working with children, I'm actually scared. To, Me be, too. to be fair. Me too. And that's not based on the fact that I know anything about him, she being a, a sex offender. That's based on the fact that you are a seriously flawed character. This I is it. And, you know, you, you told the world that, you know, your mum has passed on and all you know, of this the fact that your mom's in a, you know, you know, mental health institution, but at the same time, you claim that you support mental health advocates and all of these things and you help the community and blah, blah, blah. So if that's the case, what makes your mom so different? This is why Absolutely. I say that, humi you know, that humiliating event seems like it has scarred her. You oh, I, I was told, is it is this the event where mum turned up at the school and really... Naked, yeah. yeah. Right, I wasn't going to say it, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. so again, yeah. it's something that's out there, you know. Mum was call. mentally ill, and mum still is mentally ill. That's so it. So why, why resent your mum for that? That's, that's That that's in itself it. is beautiful, isn't it? And that's it. You know, and look, a, a child going through that, it must be difficult. They were probably getting teased anyway. You know what I mean? At that point, trauma. If it's trauma, get help. Get help. Don't don't push your trauma on the rest of the female population and abuse them on top of it because it, the, the mo matches with what I know and what you're telling me as well, sis. Yeah. You know the hatred of women is pathology that is is rooted and based in your childhood trauma with mum, and now you're enacting this on the sisters and yeah. turning yourself in. I mean, I suspect there might have been violence in. Um, I don't know. Yeah. And what I what I what I picked up on as well, visually, <clears throat> not only having an all female circle around her, but the type of females that she would bring into the camp mm -hmm. would be the ones that need help. So mm -hmm. very extremely vulnerable. And I, there was a, there were a few strong ones. There mm -hmm. were a few strong heads. But I've realised the strong. I bet they did the last. They, you took the words out of my mouth. They haven't lasted. <laughs> right. But the vulnerable ones remain. Of course. You know, and it's disgusting to be. I'm, su I'm suspecting from what we know that. Um, oh, we got. Oh, we got. Oh, we got right, right now. Can can um, 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 everyone's going to have their say in a minute. Hold tight. Yes, sis. Sorry. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, um, I can't remember what I was saying now. I got thrown there. Right, sis, mute up a minute. Don't go anywhere because I do want to have a full panel discussion. I'm glad everyone's jumped on. I no think worries. Substance was next, next on. Let me let me hear from Substance and then we'll go down the queue, yeah? Hey, Afua. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, sis. Greetings, everybody. Greetings. Um, yeah, I can't bear no witness to whether Stella is a man or woman or not, but it's pretty obvious. Mm. My issue with with him is the level of manipulation yeah so it's another form of deceit because nice. styler's known me as an artist for a few years now mm -hmm. the last show before this year that i went on for him was a show that he put on for grenfield tower you know what happened with the whole grenfield oh yeah i heard about yeah. that oh yeah so he put on a show in support of that i think he was raising funds or something like that but when I got there, <clears throat> before I went on, all the other artists were going up. The microphone check was fine. However, when it got to my performance, um, the microphone was just acting up. You know, when it's making that screeching sound, like, just yeah. really, yeah, the feedback was disgusting. So from then, I kind of cut him off because I felt like it was done deliberately. Plus, oh, there were right. other artists there that I wasn't, um, talking to anyway that he was pushing at the time right, right, so right. for me it was just sabotage and as an up-and-coming artist especially when you're talented sabotage is something that you are used to quite a lot so it's not hard to spot so but anyways it speaks, it, it speaks to the deception and the, the underhanded behavior that kind of thing doesn't it yes yeah so fast forward to this year now um, I came, I was on a live with an artist who had just discovered me and, you know, it turned into like a little interview. People wanted to know who I was and blah, 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 all of this stuff. And Styler joined the live. Now, he made out like, you know, he's known me, I'm talented, I'm this, I'm that, all of this stuff. And then from there, he invited me onto his platform where I think it was once a week they used to invite the artists on, but it was a female cipher um, for women's, women's Day or something like that. You know that day for women? Interna International Women's Day. Yeah, that's it. So that's what we was up there for. And when I went up there and walked through the door um, and got comfortable and everything, he said to me, Substance, um, Make sure you don't send for nobody, you know. So I'm thinking to myself, like, why would you say that? Like, it, it don't make sense. It's International Women's Day. As I've come through the door before everybody's about to, you know, go on the mic, you're talking about don't send for nobody. I didn't have no conversation with you, Styler, about sending for anybody. So I'm not sure as to why you would then say that. That was the first time I'd met Lady Danger in the flesh, and prior to me coming there, she DM'd me and said, good vibes, yeah? Mm. Like, no so, joke, good vibes. So is, uh, you, you just think they were just trying to get mixed up? Sub, 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 mute up for me a minute. I want to hear from Coco. One second, sis. Good evening, people. Good evening. Good evening, sis. I've been Terrell's friend since 2004. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I've come on live, I was stay, I've been watching... And I wasn't going to say anything, but it's only when I heard one individual say that Terrell has been deceiving people for a very long time mm -hmm. and Shireen gets away with it. Now, okay. when we first met originally, it was a group mm -hmm. of us, mm -hmm. South London, after school, we're chilling. Terrell was constantly getting beaten up mm -hmm. all the time by certain gangs from Junction and so forth. Mm -hmm. And me and him became very good friends. Mm -hmm. I went to his nan's house one day because mm -hmm. <clears throat> she lives in Croydon. I'm not going to say the exact area, but went to his nan's house and his nan referred to him as Shireen. Yep, I've been told that by a few people this happened. Yeah. So I know at the time we're like, so at this time now, 2004, we're looking at where age I'm 15. Yeah. So I've just mm -hmm. ended secondary school and mm -hmm. I met him because I saved him from getting beaten up. Right. Yeah. And mm -hmm. there was a time where me and him were always going out, we're up and down, up and down. And there mm -hmm. came a point where I started to feel like I was attracted to Terrell, but I'm attracted to a guy. Right. Not a female. I was not aware of this Shireen character. Mm -hmm. It's only when I went to his nan's house and his nan said that he should get me a drink. He went into the kitchen, 
mm-hmm. and then his nan called Shireen. So when mm-hmm. I said to him, who's Shireen? He's like, mm-hmm. oh, my twin sister. So I was like, so where's your sister then? Is she not going to come down and greet the people that's in your house, no? Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, no, she's just upstairs. So I didn't think anything. So you know at the age of not believing what your eyes are seeing, mm-hmm. or your ears are, so do you know what I'm saying? But he yeah. made me believe, oh, it's my sister. And he kept on with that lie for years. There came a point one night, so I'm now 19. Mm-hmm. Me and Tara still, we're rolling hard together. We're in a big group. Like, mm-hmm. it was all love, but we are accepting him because we think he's a him. Right. Do you understand? We wasn't aware of this Shireen character that he was creating or that he really is, but was pretending to be Terrell. It was a mind, a mind game. Right. Do you understand? And right. when I pulled him up on it, Terrell dismissed me. It got to a point where one night I was in bed with Terrell. Mm-mm. Terrell's period started. Oh my god. And then that's when the argument occurred. Right. That's when the problem started. And when I was like, no, nah, enough is enough here now. Mm-hmm. What's going on? He blocked me. These times we're on Blackberry. What long ago then? Yes, that's that how long is? I've been. So I've been watching this for a few years. We're not cool no more. Do you understand? Because anytime mm-hmm. you get close to Terrell, if you get if you even step near his truth you are eradicated like you never even existed. It doesn't matter what you've been through with him. I saved him from getting his ass whooped 20 times a week. Why Why were they beating him up? Because they believed he was a because, yes, feminine guy? Right? Yes, it was. Oh. At the time, because um, I'm straight, so obviously I have female friends who are lesbians. No one cares what you are. Especially you know, in the younger generation. Yeah, no like we didn't, we didn't care. We're finishing school. We want to rave. We want to go out. Do you understand? Right. We don't care what you are. But the guys obviously in Junction, Brixton, all them areas, they can smell you're not who you are. Of course they would be, yeah. Do you understand? And then that's when they used to whoop his ass. Like oh, if you no. see all the scars on his face, Wow. I can tell you where the forehead one came from, where the eyebrow one came from. I was there. Do you understand? And the only reason I'm speaking out today is because enough is enough. There's mm-hmm. no shame, yeah, that you... Absolutely. You know, whatever you are is your truth. In this day and age, you cannot judge people for what their truth is. But he's, is not, he's, not, he's not living his truth. No, not at all. And you're deceiving women... You, you're making women believe that you are a man. We're falling in love with the idea of this illusion that you are creating, yes. yeah? yeah? And that, it doesn't matter whether you're black, white, shiny, orange, or pink. You don't do that. You don't. And when do you that. corner him, I don't, do you know what it is? I don't even know what to say, whether it, should I say he, should I say she? Because I've had to, I've had to deal with both. Right. Do you know, do you understand? And when you, when you address it with him, you're just cut off. Hmm. there's no explanation and then you're made out either to be a liar or there was a con he made me believe that his mum was dead your mum is in a mental institution my guy mm-hmm. do you understand mm-hmm. we've caught up in arguments over this over the years where why mm-hmm. are you lying about your mother being dead are you sick so many lies that I've and, heard and it's what you are doing lies. they're yeah. horrible lies and what do you know what it is remember the power of the tongue mm-hmm. is real you can't be doing the things that you're doing and he gets away with it or he does suicide attempts or he's in a coma. When he gets cornered, there's always some magical sickness. Mm-hmm. Somehow he, you say, oh, I need to find out whether you're telling me the truth. Are you a female? Somehow he drops down, faints, needs to go hospital. Then there's this syndrome. Wow. Listen, I don't know what Google apps that you are and web thing you've got going on. He just Google stuff. Google yeah. is one of my best friends. Yeah. Do you understand? Like, it's, and it's appalling that there is people out there that are living with the conditions that he's claiming That's to it. have. You're wicked. Wicked. So wicked. from 2004, obviously mm-hmm. I can't talk from um, 2012 onwards because I mean him to yeah. stop. There was no point because I was like, they need to hear from people that know him from the from way back. Absolutely. Way Absolutely. back. This has been going I, I had on. A feeling that I'm so glad you came on. I'm no, so you're glad welcome. You, you're you, welcome. Uh, you speak your truth and you speak it as a victim. We need it's to horrible. Do- it's not nice. And obviously, you know, I cared about him at one stage where we are going to family gatherings. 
Wow. You're my people. It's wow. not like I, you're my people. I care. We're together in this. And I yeah. said to him one night when he got his ass whooped, yeah, mm -hmm. I was like to him, listen, this can't keep continuing because one day these guys were going to kill you, you know? Mm -hmm. He turned around and was, and then tried to tell me, uh, he was the original gaslighter. You know, the term narcissism has only recently yes. been something that's just come out over the last yes, couple of years. Yes, of course. Of course. It's always, is the it's always been a cl clinical diagnosis. It's, it's always been that. But, it's but obviously popularized. it's just been very, yeah. it's come popularised. And yeah. he was the original for me. I can get it. Yeah. The gaslighting, I don't know, my twin sister, we, I've never seen her. Where is she? Then I see videos of you, you're in a wig. So who's that? My twin sister. So if you've got a twin sister, how come I can never see both of you together? It's quite scary. It's very eerie, all of this. Very, and it's it's concerning because the details that he gives you about his mother's death, the tomb, the funeral, is is very tapped. Do you understand? I, I, I've, I've spoken to people that, who as friends were invited to nine nights and things like that. It's crazy. And actually, it wasn't even his mum's nine night. It was, it was some his auntie or something. Like, and just, his like, nan what? is a lovely woman, you know. She seems it, yeah. She's a lovely, caring, sweet woman. You go to her house, she will welcome you, give you food. But these times, he's he's there gaslighting his nan, and he's been doing it for years. This nan that he loves so much in the so video. So much. Do you understand? And if Terrell is listening, jump on and defend your truth. Exactly. And none of this. We can done this all right now, you know. Just come on, say your piece, and then let's move on. But Unless if you continue... It's not Do you right know what? Like, I think at this point, like, yeah, if you spoke your truth, your community might just embrace you because and you, support you. You clearly got issues, sister. Like clearly. you're a, you're a woman at the end of the day, right. and you're doing this to other women. Mm -hmm. You're out here deceiving other women. What have we done to you? Damn. That's cruel. So he needs to he she whatever Terrell refers as. I don't know. Do you know if they've had if they've transitioned now? Then do you know if she's transitioned? Then I no, I don't know that. I do know that the breast was removed, but you can see that in in videos and posts yeah, because yeah. um you know he was very conscious of that. He was very worried about what other people think. I don't know whether it's a complex that he carries, but at the end of the day, this has to stop because well, what look, he's doing is wrong. If if if, if she has transitioned, mm -hmm. then I would suspect that she would have a um transition certificate and her okay. uh, her uh, passport would have been changed legitimately. So I suspect that no they might Terrell have is removal, Photoshop. full transition because why would you bother to doctor a passport then? Terrell is Photoshop king. There's nothing yeah, that he couldn't I've create if he that. wanted to. I've, do you I've understand? So that. that whole showing the other passport, it didn't even mirror up with the original. So let's just oh. not. And his girlfriend, let's talk about her if you let's really want to bring it in let's today. Let's talk about her. Yes. See, Terrell provides a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a mm -hmm. lifestyle that many women will find comfortable living in. If I can go somewhere for free and don't have to pay for something and I don't have to give you my front, well, let's move. Do you understand? Yeah, he really can't. Though. He can't provide for them sexually because he doesn't have the equipment that we want as a straight woman. We want man. Of course, you are not a man. Uh -huh. If you gave us the option of, there was a point where me he was even talking to me at that time about taking my virginity. Mm -hmm. So wow. I'm there thinking. I'm like he's taking me out. We're going out. We're doing things, and I'm I'm starting to feel like, oh, I think I might have feelings. Wow. And then when I'm starting to see little movements, I'm like, is Terrell? Who? And then started things started to just add up. And then when I cornered him one night, we got into an argument. Within twenty minutes, I was blocked and deleted. Like we didn't just spend nearly two and a half years together rolling around. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And when he sees you out, you are just the, it's just the attitude is just off. The movement's off. And then he's a deceiver. As He's a true manipulator and a yeah. liar. Oh my so God, he'll make God. you out to be the bad person. Or he'll convince others that, you know, they're out to get me. No one's out to get you, boo-boo. No one's out to get you. If all you had to do was say, do you know what? I'm a female, but I'm not attracted to men. I like other females. Then that means you're a lesbian. Is that not the correct terminology? Absolutely. And that's okay. That's okay. That doesn't hmm. matter. Whoever you're attracted to in life is whoever you're attracted to, but own your truth. And he's not doing that. He's out here lying. And his girlfriend is sitting here talking about my partner. 
okay, if you want to defend your partner, jump on the live, defend your partner correctly. Absolutely, absolutely. Just sitting here watching and, and observing is not going to defend him, is it? Come well, on, speak the uh, truth. The intel says that actually girlfriend is a lesbian lying to her pe uh, people that, <laughs> that, that she's a man. So it's fully complicit. Oh. Wow. This this but I don't know. Nice. I can't confirm or prove that. That is those are the allegations I've heard about girlfriend. Terrell will it would not surprise me if mm -hmm. Terrell tries to pull a stunt of he is gonna try to commit suicide because he is warped like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's done that before. It's all a game. You know, when I used to corner him, he would then make me say he would then say to me he's gonna try to commit suicide. And then I don't want to cause anyone that kind of harm. So you're gonna back up. Mm -hmm. You're not going to question them so much. You're not going to put no question to them because you don't want to make them do that. That's what the yeah. things he used to say to me when I ever used to, like, Terrell, what's going on? This don't make no sense. Do you understand? And he could just end this whole thing today and just come tell the truth and we can go to that. sleep. Too many guys. Too no, many guys. he's not going to. And then he's just going to pull another stunt and, mm. and it's just ongoing until someone... And do you know what, sis? Thank you for doing this. Because I've been screaming this for years. I've had arguments with so much people because of this. Yeah. Sis, and, hold, uh, mute up for me a minute. Thank, thank you for no that. No problem. And I'm going to get back to you. Don't, nobody go, don't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, I want to hear from Slowly, who's been in and out. Blessed love, Slowly. Blessed love. You're live, Slowly. Wanna hear you from too. Love? You too, Afro. Are you all right? Yeah, I you're right, it. Slowly. Yeah, What's yeah. Up? Or Solely. Oh, Solely, yeah. Solely, yeah. Yeah. Mm. What are you saying, sis? I'm okay, you know. I'm just, um, I'm really here to, um, you know, just big you up and to say, um, you know, I'm here to, in support of substance because oh, we've been speaking, yeah, we, you know, I just kind of saw um, a lot of things um, that didn't sit right with me mm -hmm. and just obviously listening to the whole thing about what she experienced, um it just, yeah, I just kind of had to defend her because I just, I noticed that it was, you know, her against so many people at that time. Yeah, and she was, yeah, and she wasn't really given a fair chance to really express and explain exactly what, what happened because, um, you know, like I said, she was the only person that, you know, and obviously her partner, but she was you know expressing so much and i just feel that there was um you know danger and her partner and obviously a lot of that side you know had much more of a of a platform so mm, definitely, definitely. a lot of people didn't really give substance a chance just because of you know numbers and all this social media and the hype of everything but not really you know giving her a fair listen so i think when she, when you done your live um the last last friday i think it was um you know it was good because even though the manager came on and she was no different from styler but um i feel it was more it was more understood of because a lot of people was confused because it was like a, a man sort of drugging a, another guy and you know sort of the norm is you know the other way around it you, you don't really hear that much so it, and you know, and the evidence wasn't there, but on Friday, because you know, we was able to ex, you know, explain more, explore more of what happened again, and the evidence now was there. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, it it started to turn out, you know, Absolutely. in um, in in a whole different light um for her, mm -hmm. and I just yeah, you know, and as for Styler, I don't really know anything about him. I do know that he sent me a picture years ago. This is when I was on Facebook. Um, you know, we exchanged numbers because I was trying to support him, you know, promote his little thing that he had going on, which mm -hmm. is what I do for a lot of people, you know, my own people. If I see that someone's trying to do their thing, I'll try and, do you know what I mean? Just, just, just support them. Yeah. So we ended up exchanging numbers and then he started inboxing me. Mm. And then it started to get a little bit, you know, you could see that, he, you know, he, he he was, it wasn't about the whole promotion no more. It was a little bit more than that. Mm. 
So mm-hmm. anyway, he ended up sending me a picture of his private areas, yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's a little kind of mark on there, yeah, like a little birthmark or some kind of mark on it. Um, and it just really put me off. And from that, I've never really spoken to, you know, him uh, since then. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know what that's all about. But mm-hmm. I, I know that he is out here or she is out here, yeah, trying to be, trying to prove that it's it's a male. Mm. Well, we had we had ourselves, didn't we? We were in the video. <laughs> they got Kleinfelter syndrome. So, so she's obviously had a whole sex change. Well, because Kleinfelter can only be given to boys. To, to boys. Have, only, only boys have it. So you're clearly born a female, but you said you mm. had Kleinfelter syndrome. Yeah. And you doctored your passport. And you've got witness from people that know you from your child or with their children. Mm. Um, that, that bear witness that you're a girl and that your grandma calls you Shireen, which is on your passport. I mean, it's just overwhelming. It's just oh, lovely. I was just saying, crazy. what I hear from Substance Quick, just in response to what you're saying, um, and then I want to get back to Coco, and we're going to hear again from Fully SK as well to sum up, yeah? Yeah. Thanks. Hey, am I back? Yeah. No, that right, uh, Big up yourself, Soli. Um, so further to what I was saying, it just mm-hmm. all makes sense. The level of manipulation... Me and Styler used to talk in the WhatsApp, like after I, he made the link and I come back on the female side far. Um, so, sorry, I'm talking. Saying, uh, sorry, one make second. Sis. Maya says, um, huh, did she just say a dick pic was sent? Yeah, but you know, Photoshop and all that. I doubt that was a dick pic, but go ahead, sis. Yeah, so we would talk and he was just giving me a lot of advice about, um, you know, my career. He admitted that he thought I was one of the better artists. Now, everybody knows he's been pushing and promoting Danger for quite some time. And another thing that people don't know is that when the artists go up to be interviewed up to that place, that studio in Tottenham, before Mm -hmm. the cameras come on, they chat the artist them with the artist that they've called on stage. Styler had been looking for a few female artist that could rub out Lady Danger yeah Yeah, yeah. so when I was approached to come to the female cypher I was approached by a woman called Boom Fashion Mm. yeah she contacted me first off of the live uh, because somebody made me know that she was a fashion designer or whatever so when we made that link the first conversation that we had she said to me now man you've got potential you need to come and take the crown off of Lady Danger's head and I was like, listen, I'm not into that. Like, I actually like Danger at the time. Um, mm-hmm. I don't have a problem with her. Do you know what I mean? I don't need to diss a gal if they don't diss me. You understand? Um, yeah, and I just feel like it was a plot. When they invited me to the female cipher, it was to size me up. Because when they we come there, once again, we had one drink, me and my partner. We're, we're that type of people. We don't need to drink into oblivion i'm a one drink type of person i don't necessarily drink like that um and it was coming up to the gal farm event now my husband got spiked two weeks before the gal farm event which is very sketchy to me you Mm. understand I reached out to DJ Styler about the spiking because Danger hadn't replied to me. And as a woman, if a friend messages me and says, look, can you call me when you're alone? I need to talk to you about something serious. I'm going to call that person. I'm not going to let two, three days pass and I haven't even liked the resp- the message or responded exactly. in any way. So therefore, I went to Styler because the way our Styler carries himself, like he's very articulate, he's very like, you know, understanding. I thought that, you know, Herself. I could trust Herself. him. Oh, sorry, yeah. her. Keep forgetting. Yeah. Um, so all of that was going on. You didn't get to play the voice note of his response to the spiking and the sexual assault allegations. Mm. So he basically told me I should not confront danger or tell Danger about her man being inappropriate with me because basically Danger's not going to believe me and it's just going to look like I'm trying to cause problems in their relationship and whatever, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> his behaviour at the party was very weird. At one stage when I was doing the face painting, he came up to me with his phone in his hand like he was recording mm-hmm. and he wouldn't say nothing to me. He was just standing next to me with the phone in my face with a big fat grin on his face. He weren't saying nothing. And his face was very close to my face. I think, does he want to kiss me or something? Like, I'm really confused. But looking back now, I believe that that was the video that he took of me because they had planned to drug us 
because I never drank my drink. This is what people need to know. I only took a couple sips. And yeah, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, one, it tasted bitter. And two, um, I just thought, oh, like, I don't like the taste of this. Look, you, you always maintain that um, even if, if you didn't sort of say explicitly on this live, you always mm. maintained when you were talking to me that you believe that it was Danger and Frenchie and Styler knew about it. That's why he was defending yeah. you. Said that, yep. so I don't think you can separate who did what. I don't think yeah. you can separate any who did what, but he certainly seems to have the underhanded, nasty. He knows about it. He's the brain box of it all. Like he well, it feels people. that way, doesn't it? it does sis. she but, likes yeah. to tell people that she likes to play the devil's advocate? So mm. she's very mixed up. She's very um, right, right, right. calculating in a right. sense. Right. Um, and yeah, everything he was saying in the WhatsApp was different to when he ran out on Rapper's Life. He uh -huh. made fun of my husband, tried to spin the narrative that it's his mental health and all of these things. And look, look here you are now, however yeah. many weeks later you're being exposed and you're the one with the mental health problems. Because if you have to pretend to be somebody that you're not and deceive people, hurt people in the process, then we really need to look at your character. Oh. There it is. Like, we'll leave it, we'll leave it there with that for you, sis. Yeah. Yeah. But you're right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because but I just wanted to touch. Um, I just wanted to touch quickly, Afia, back on the um, the picture that was sent to me. Yeah. Mm. Like I believe, yeah, in all honesty, that um, Shireen has had a uh, uh, um, sex a change. sex change. Yeah, yeah because yeah. obviously it's been proven that you know. She's a female from the get go, so a picture sent, you know, with with her. How long ago was that picture sent? This this was a good couple years ago. About two, three years ago, maybe. Not, not way more than a good ten years ago. So ten years ago, maybe maybe Coco can answer that. What was happening? She says she can't answer before twenty twelve, but that's only three years before. There could have been a transition in that time. I don't know. You know, 2012 is what, uh, 12, years, 12 years ago. Because it didn't look like a normal, no, it looked very stumpy. Rubbish. It looked very stumpy, like really tiny and stumpy. It didn't look like a real, mm. you know, your average. It's possible. It's, 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 it's possible. It's possible. But what I'm saying is, if there has been a transition, then you would have your papers changed, like you're entitled to... But even, but even in one of the messages, you know, when you was putting up the messages that was sent back and forth between um, yeah, yeah, Skylar yeah. and some next um, friend of of mm -hmm. of Shireen's, yeah, she was even saying something about um, about if something about sex change anyway. Oh, if okay. if you want to have a sex change or if you've had a sex change, mm. um, just be honest and why stop deceiving people. Yeah, but that's um yeah, absolutely. That person was um, if if I remember right, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I don't think it was necessarily confirmed with that person, but they were certainly thinking along your lines as well at that stage, for real. But yeah, thanks for that. Cole Cole. What do you, what hey, you say this. Yeah, bless up. Um regarding as I said, I can't talk after 2012. I can only talk prior to that. Now, to my knowledge from when I'm going from when me and him started to like one another <clears throat> so I'm now what let's say 16 because I haven't started to I haven't started how, to how old was that person telling you they were at that time one minute his birthday was in August then it was in July mm -hmm. um then he was younger than me which is no <laughs> okay just yeah. no and then it's like he would I can't explain it all right you see when someone lies they will formulate the foundation based off of what they believe the truth to be. Absolutely. Yeah? And he used his nan as that tool. Oh. Because if you, do you understand what I'm saying to you? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, if someone goes, I did this, X, Y, Z, I swear on my mum's life that happened. Because it's, you, you're, that you're making it a statement that this is the truth, you're inclined to mm, maybe they are. So, but when they swear on their mum's life, did he always swear on his? Did she always his nan's swear life? Nan's yeah, life. like I swear oh on my, my nan's life, I swear on my mum's grave. All right, cool. And the thing is, we have been around people who've lost their mums. Yes, do you understand? We saw what that grief did. Why would, why in God's name, would you say that your mum mm. is in the in a mental hospital? in Lambeth. Stop your noise. 
Wow. Do you understand? Then you, this brother died or this sibling died. Yeah. Why are you saying these things? Compulsive liar. It's part of the... It's a sickness. It's part of the, it's part of the uh, repertoire of personality disorder. Do you understand? Personality disorders very rarely show up on their own. They're, they're always accompanied by other personality disorders. Now, so when he's... When, well, she was telling me, I, I, you know, I find you, I want to be with you. Like, we've been riding this together. I'm inclined now, where I'm 16, this could possibly be the person that, you know, I'm mm -hmm. going to be with. And when that inter the, the chance of intimacy um, did occur, mm -hmm. trying to touch her was a no-go. Huh. Do you understand? Like, obviously, you're, gonna, you're trying to get into the act of actually getting there. Mm -hmm. Touching her was non option. Hmm. She wouldn't. She wouldn't allow you. And it was. It was always uh, sex in one way. That's what I've been mm -hmm. told by several people. I have never had any sort of sexual contact with her because it was never ever an option. And at that mm -hmm. age, I think she was still trying to figure a lot of things out. Sure. Sure. You know, am I, what, who do I want to be? What do I want to be? What's my truth? What's my purpose? We used mm -hmm. to have these conversations, mm -hmm. but I think I was having them with a, with a boy, with a, with a teenager. Mm -hmm. So when I've cornered you and I want to know the truth, why has I, why have I found out from X, Y, Z that you was at a party and you're wearing a wig? <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't act like you're stupid. At this point, did you think that it was a boy that had, was, was cross-dressing when you heard that? When I, when I heard that, <laughs> I wasn't believing what the other person said. Okay. I'm going to defend Terrell because I know him as Terrell. So what do you mean you saw him as a... What do you mean he was wearing a wig? What, 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 what kind of wig are we talking about here? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I and mean, when I saw the picture, what do you mean it's, it's, it's ombre? Like, what, and, and long down your back? Oh Explain God. that to me. Uh, uh, it was Shireen. All right. All right, cool. I've heard Shireen, Shireen. I've now known you two years. Now, sis, Never if you've known someone for two years and you're close with them like that you would have seen their siblings no even if well, especially young. their twin sister of your course. twin you're gonna i never ever met, oh she what should do and uh, another thing which was her favorite thing pretend to be on the phone talking to shireen oh my goodness like it was it was when i'm looking back at it this now real it's mad real like you're ill wow. you're ill do you understand and obviously i'm there like I can't hear anyone on the other line, but do you know what? Maybe the volume's low. Do you know when you start convincing yourself of the, the, the oh, delusion? You start rationalising because it's you so start, yeah. yeah. You understand? And then I'm seeing you do certain things. I'm seeing you behave in certain mannerisms. And you've got me questioning what's reality and what's not. And then when I come to you as your friend, as your friend who has been there when you've been beaten up, I've jumped in front of men who are going to bust your ass. Yeah, and because they know me and because they're cool with my family, you haven't even been touched like that. Do you understand? And that's where we're coming from. And you want to stand in front of me and tell me, believe what I want to believe. And obviously, you're 16 as well at the time. I'm 16. So you're groomed. He, she groomed you. It was it was crazy. And Sister, can I ask how old you are now? Me, I'm 34. So I'm three years older than you, but was saying mm -hmm. that they were younger. And, mm -hmm. and these times, well, that's not possible because if I've left school, how are you not in school? And but then you're you're meeting me after school after school. Well, you, yeah. you met them when you were fifteen, and mm -hmm. then sixteen came and whatever. Yep. But sixteen years old. Mm -hmm. uh, three years is a lot because at the mm -hmm. time you're sixteen, they're nineteen. They're yes. adults. That's the thing, and it's like one you minute are... he's like when you're thinking about oh, what are you doing for your birthday? Because sometimes as well, he lies so much he caught himself out. Do you understand? So one minute, right, oh, yeah, my birthday's yeah. coming up. And I'm like, well, how's your birthday just coming up in this but next couple of weeks? Do you understand? But these times, it's, it's June. Your birthday's July. But you're catching yourself out because you can't even remember the lies you're saying. Mm. Do you understand? And he mm -hmm. is a hypochondriac. Every mm -hmm. other week, month, Terrell's got this illness. And it's always another illness. So how much illness has you got so? <laughs> How many do you have? Because I've never known someone who's got so much illness and is still walking what, what around. What kind of illnesses are we talking about? We're what talking kind of about, um, okay, so we're talking about maybe like 2011, 2012. Terrell had brain surgery, apparently. Oh, Lord. Yeah? Um, and, and again, that's because someone corners him. Every time Terrell, Shireen, whatever they call go by, gets cornered, 
they feel sick, something happens, they drop down at a dance or they're fainting or this happens to them or they've got this or they've got that. Mm. Please, 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 please. If that's the case and you've got so much things happening with you, you need to see a specialist because I've never heard of anything like this. Sounds like they've got Munchausen syndrome. Something, because it's bad. And I feel so sorry for his nan. Like even watching those videos that you put up at the beginning, sis, I'm like, this woman, yeah, loves Mm. her grandchild, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. And we'll defend Shireen because yeah, that's because what that's her nan think, think knows she's defending. Yeah. her as. And there's certain times when the nan will say her the name or yeah. refer to her as a she. Yes. Do you understand? And it's happened on many occasions, but because my nan's getting old, you know, she just got confused. No, she didn't. Right. Do you understand? Now, his mum did suffer from mental illness. Mm-hmm. That is something that he shared with me. There's mm-hmm. certain things I'm not going to say tonight because he trusted me with that information many years ago. I hear that, sis. And mm-hmm. So there's still, there's still a loyalty there in a sense. But at the end of the day, his mum suffered from mental illness. I don't know if that maybe was an embarrassment because mental illness back in those days, it wasn't really understood Big taboo. as it is now. Big taboo. You know? yeah. And speaking it out loud may have, I don't know, caused him to stress or whatever the case may have been. But what my issue was with Terrell and where the arguments always happened with me and her was, why, it's not adding up, babes. You're saying A, but it's looking like Z. So what are we going to do here? And then we would argue and I would get blocked. And then I would get eradicated from the friendship group. I'm arguing with other friends because I'm like, are you not, not seeing that this is a, mm-hmm. this is a girl? Mm-hmm. And then, no, you're wrong, you're wrong. You know, it, it, he's not that, okay, cool. And then I backed away from everyone. And for this tonight, I sat here and I felt vindicated. I hear you. I've been saying this for years. Hmm. People have come to blows with me about this particular person. Wow. Do you understand? And he's convinced women, he's you're 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 fucking him with a strap on. Let's just be blunt. A very well oiled one in the dark. Well boy. And the thing is as well, and as a woman, if you think you're laying down and sleeping with a man only to find out you have slept with a woman, that does something to your your psyche. That's psychological damage, sis. And how is are you getting joy out of doing that, Shireen? Are you where you're making a woman question her sexuality? Do I like females? Making yeah. her feel unsure. There's nothing wrong with liking females if that's what you know your truth to be. But if you don't know that to be your truth and someone has put that out there for as a wound for you, you're a dangerous being, you know? And she, all she has to do is just come on and just say what she's saying. Do you understand? And we can just be, go to bed and say, do you know what? Thank you, sis. You highlighted a lot for us tonight. And I'm so grateful. I even said this. I've felt like I've been vindicated tonight because I've been saying this wow. for years. Hmm. For years. And I've been shunned, argued with, blocked, lost friends. All beca- And Terrell turns people against you. It's like a... He's very good at it. Oh, very my God. I can see he, that. He will, he will make you believe something that your eyes know to be the truth, but you'll say your eyes are lying. Master manipulator. 100%. Master. And, and I've noticed as well... No shade to any of the women that he has been intimate with, but he has a type. Yeah. yeah? A type of woman who is either insecure about her weight, the way she feels about herself. Mm-hmm. Because all the women, people can come for me if they're like, I don't really care. But I'm going to mm-hmm. say what it is. The type of women he goes for are not the most attractive women. I can imagine. Yeah. And they're very insecure about themselves. And that is the breeding ground he loves. Yes. The breeding ground. Because the, the fact, I, and I'm going off of how I used to be at 16. How yes. I felt about myself. So don't get it twisted. I'm also in that pool. I'm not in that pool no more. But I was. And I'm telling you for a fact, he has a type. And he works on you slowly. He makes you and convinces you that he's going to always be the one to have your back. No one else will have your back. He will have your back. He will do whatever he needs to do to make you feel safe. And then he turns on you. As soon as you question anything to do with his mum, his mum is the biggest biggest trigger for him. Mm -hmm. And when you start asking him, well, where's Shireen? Where's Shireen? Where's this twin? You said that you've got a twin. I've never seen her in all the years I've known you. 
My nan, my nan, my nan, my granny, my granny, my granny, my granny. Okay, okay. I hear that. Grand, grand special. But you are abusing your grand. That's a form of abuse of what he's doing to his grandma. And she's 95. She's meant to be living her best life, not defending whether you're a, a man or a woman. Do you understand? And he's not taking accountability. Right now, and all that's been going on in the last couple of weeks that I've seen online with Styler, all he had to do was sit down and tell his truth and shut it all Absolutely. down. Absolutely, and shut it down. But instead, then, he chose to jump on a live after yes. our live last week and try to vilify me and, and get little tidbits to try to do what he always does, which mm -hmm. is try to flip the script and think yes. that that would work, send yes. his minions into my Instagram. It's not working. I told him it wouldn't work. And, I and that's why he's closed his Instagram. I think, look, this person's born the day after me. He's a, she's a Judah. She mm. has a high sense of uh, intuition. Wicked. Wicked. And I believe I believe that when I put out that video and I said what I said, that this, mm -hmm. said, this is about your deception, uh, and knowing my platform, because she said very well that she followed it at one point, Yeah, uh, I think she had a sense that, you know what, I think that the game might be up. And I think that's why she deleted her Instagram, not because of bullying or anything, because you know that wasn't really going on. There was comments here and there, but there weren't no bullying. Um, God bless you. I think you, that's what it was. I think they you, know that it was going to be time was up. But go you ahead. highlighted a lot for me. Like I can't thank you enough for what you. you have done this evening because I did not know about you till this week when my friend showed me whatever, whatever, and then I started researching and I was like, I'm going to tune in to find out what facts you have and if they are durable. And then I'll speak my truth because a lot of females, you said at the beginning, when you first started your life, people may be embarrassed. Don't be, because Don't. you're not the only one. Do you understand? He's been doing it. She has been doing this since 2004. And another question, which I was, which I'm really curious about. Are you a virgin? Have you slept with men? Because what has triggered you to do and be this spiteful, vindictive human being towards mm. females? Do you despise? Do you despise yourself so much that you was born a female that you want to what tear us down like this? Mm -hmm. Because this form of abuse, physical abuse is bad, yes, but I think that mental abuse is more. It's, it's a lot worse. Absolutely, because it stays well, with you. Last a lot longer, my sister. A lot I'm longer. now. In, I'm in my. Late, I'm coming into my late thirties. After thirty-five, I'm coming into my late thirties, and this still what he done stays with me till today you deceived you made me believe something that wasn't the truth you convinced me that i was falling for someone that you're not you're not even that person do you understand you're there and you're abusing women he had a meeting in mcdonald's one day and printed out this nhs letter and it stated that it, he was a hermaphrodite <laughs> Yeah, we've gone, we've gone from hermaphrodite mm -hmm. to Kleinfelter syndrome. My goodness. Yeah, and the the NHS are listen. Nowadays with Photoshop, you can make someone believe anything. Do you understand? So you telling me you're this, you're that, and this chromosome and that chromosome, proof is in the pudding, my friend. Yeah. You know, proof is in the pudding. There's nothing wrong with whatever it is that you decide to be, Shireen Terrell, however you want to address yourself. But live your truth. That's all we're asking of you. And and my granddad used to say the saying, I, I live by it. What don't concern you, leave alone. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he loves to concern himself with things that ain't his concern. And then he gets burnt by it. But this, no is, one what, told him. this is what happened to the, it, with this. He yeah. had his last rodeo now. He should have never go and buy out uh, Danger and Frenchie's argument. That's his problem, and yeah. and this is where he's fe his feminine traits. Because as uh, females, we can sometimes be a bit bitchy. That's yeah. exactly what I've been saying. Absolutely, we yeah. can be a bit bitchy at times. I know how I am with my siblings. There's times I can be very bitchy, and that's my feminine traits coming out. And him, all of them come out. Hmm. There was times when I even had to pull him up on his hygiene, babe. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Do you understand? Mm? Mm -hmm. Like, mm. do you understand? And there's there's a there's a men have a have a scent. But a sis, you know, when a woman has a scent, and he's just there raw. Uh -uh. And this is all the things that I was picking up at that time. And I was like, this don't, this ain't sitting well with me. And when I pulled him up on it, 
eradicated. Hmm. Cut out of his life. Like I didn't even help do anything. Like I never. You know why I know what, what you're telling me is absolute facts because you're one of the people that I did not speak to. So I'm really yes. happy you jumped on. But I spoke to a hell of a lot of people over the last mm. few years. And mm. this team that you're talking about with him, this MO, is mm. absolutely on the money what other people have told me. Facts. You just get Facts. eradicated. You don't even have a yeah. chance. As soon as you Shut ask down. him anything to do with where his truth might be exposed or he's about to be exposed, you're cut out of his life. Hmm. And he'll, be, you'll see him out, he'll walk past you or he'll move sometime. It's like, like he doesn't what, even know you. Like he don't know you. And I have to pull him up, like, quite a few times, like, well, are you all right? Because we went out, let's say about two, three years ago. I haven't seen him now for coming up to like nine years at this time. Saw him out, I'm looking different, he's looking different. It's all love. I don't have no bad feeling towards you. My heart's not that way. We didn't speak mm -hmm. no more. Cool. I saw mm -hmm. you out. And when I tried to approach him, he moved like he didn't know who I was. Hmm. all right cool i'm gonna count your card there and i'm gonna leave it at that when i see him out now i will just continue walking yeah because i don't have to beg your friendship our friendship ended many years ago and do not think at any like right now sis, is there's no vendetta that i have against him you know like i'm not coming on here to tarnish his name he's done that all by himself i can hear you sis i, I don't even hear a, a shred of venom in your voice i don't believe it's that uh, I, it's not it's not malicious at all i just want him to she, for one, uh, and he, she i keep saying he but it's because of who yeah. i know him to be of course, of course. Do you understand so th and th this is how you know it to be so genuine is because if you've told me you're a man i'm not questioning that you can you look like a man to me do you understand? Yeah, and it's yeah. only as time has gone on. And the reason as well why he put on so much weight was one, because of the medication he was taking, and two, because he wanted to hide his breast. Right. It was a plan. It was a ploy. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And when people started to figure him out or question why certain things were the way they was, he had to change the, the narrative or change how he's moving or change the friendship group. Yep. There, and he jumps around. There's nothing that's ever stable with him. Like, yeah. if someone, a psychologist or someone of a medical profession was to study him, they may just get an award. Because he... You're is fascinating is, me with the amount of uh, personality disorders that I'm clocking up in my he head. He really like, needs something deep down. Like, we all have triggers this. intervention. But he cool. needs something. Like, maybe this will be the catalyst that's needed for some sort of change for him to do better. I That's all, so. just do better. Like, you've done what you've done. You've lied and said how many things that have happened, haven't happened, that person died, this person's dead, you're going to that grave. There's so much, you don't even know what... The, I don't even think he knows what his truth is anymore. Mm -hmm. You lie it's so much, abuse, you just don't it's know. It's abuse for me, sis, the, the fact that he's beaten and, as I said, raped by Facts. the sex. Facts and those and poor actually girls actually by deception as well. And that's the thing. And these women that who take the, take him in and want to be loved by him, you believe the story because one, as I said prior, he has a type. If you're if you're independent and you're moving in a particular way, that's too much for him. He don't like them kind of females. That's not the females he goes for. Mm -hmm. He goes for females that he can easy, easy she, manipulate. She, she, we've got to get used to saying it. Got, she, she until, until, goes, that, until that person gets a gender assignment, a certificate to say yeah. that they're conditioned, we are saying she. But well, see, Shireen, that. Shireen yeah. has a type. And mm -hmm. it's a type that she can easily manipulate, control, mm -hmm. deceive, and be dishonest with. True and, perpetrator. And it's sad. And I hope, by God's grace, that she does better for herself mm -hmm. and for her nan. Because her nan's not going to live forever, you know. Well, 95, I, I think. Like, you know, out. time's yeah. ticking. So don't let your nan go to her grave with all this dishonesty around her. Mm -hmm. So if you love your granny and you care so much about her, free her from the lie. Free the woman, man. Just let her be free, be and then she can go rest her soul whenever God takes her, and you, Shireen, can be a better individual. And rest her soul, because she I'm just sure... Needs to. Can you imagine being in her head? There, trying I'd... to juggle all the balls and the lies and the... the wow! And the I aggressiveness... The aggressiveness that comes from her mm -hmm. um, is not... Well, with me, it was never physical. 
Right. It was very verbal. Okay. Like the argument. So as I said, you know, there's a different way a man will argue and there's a way a female will argue. It's very catty. Well, a female's going to trace. Yeah. Man, a man doesn't have time for that. He'll say two they, words and get out the door. Like for me, that whole WhatsApp conversation, I, I know my closest friends, my siblings, they ain't have no long conversation like that. All Men definitely are not going to be going back and forth. Men not the don't guys go either. back and forth. <laughs> not the guys either. They don't. So all she has to do, like this live has been going on for nearly three hours, and yet if you wanted to speak your truth and have your say, <coughs> why have you not come forward? Or your girlfriend, because she had an opinion at the beginning, boo-boo, where are you? Where's boo-boo now? Oh, I didn't because... even say that. I don't really always get time to look at the chats until afterwards, but... What's Boo Boo saying? What was Just, she saying? You're chat? saying something about, oh, my partner, you lot so concerned. Okay, if that's the case, yeah, we are concerned. 100% you just said the truth. We are. We're very concerned that what's going on here is not right. So speak up, baby. Tell and us I, what's and going I'm on. I'm also concerned that Boo Boo may well be uh, an abused female. Because from the MO that I've heard, this, this one likes to practice domestic violence. So what's Boo Boo's story, I wonder? Yet again, she is his type exactly what i said before the things i listed the insecurity the weight the weight you know being of a certain weight not being the most attractive and that's no shade to her don't get twisted i'm not throwing no shade i'm trying to I understand. highlight i understand do you understand so she is his type to a t oh baby and it's sad because she's going to sit there and you're in something thinking that you're living this cushy life and you're going to defend um shireen to the end and you're going to fall off the cliff with her don't mm -hmm. do that. Save yourself now. Back up and let her tell her truth. Come and say whatever you have to say. If you think people are lying on you or people want to, you know, make you out to be the villain, so be it. But speak your truth and then we can shut our mouths. But Well, um, I think the rest of us can shut our, our mouths, but not all the victims would, might feel that way. You know, I think there's a lot of... There is a lot of uh, truth and reconciliation that would need and to And I hope, before. like, they so shouldn't feel embarrassed. Dying. For this person to feel vindicated, to be yeah, vindicated. don't feel embarrassed. Go and like if you are on live right now, come and share your story. Like sis, when 100%. there's no judgment, we're yeah. not here to judge because we've I've been where you've been. I haven't been intimate with him, her, but the fact is, at the time, I was in a delusion with Shireen because she made me believe something that wasn't the case. And that's what she needs to just take accountability for. What you're doing is wrong. Apologise. Because you're wrong. Yeah, apologise. Because i tell you something. Uh, there is enough people stacking up where this is going to become a court case if everyone sticks together. And if the thing is, if this together, gets highlighted... Because I don't, think, I, don't think, like, I don't think Shireen realises, mm. you know, when she's threatening all sorts of legal action and whatever, mm -hmm. I don't think she realises that her movements are actually illegal. Of you course. cannot deceive people like this, especially for uh, sexual gratification, pleasure, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. or monetary gain. I'm not saying there's monetary gain there, but that's one of the categories as well. But you can't deceive like this. It is against the law. And, and when, when you hear... Of it, it's, it's a problem. Better. It's a real it's problem. Very bad. It's very bad. And when you hear the artist who it seemingly seems to be talented is being taken advantage of, mm -hmm. why? You're, meant, you're saying you're going to help her. Yeah. Why are you trying to deceive her and make her out to be the bad person when all she wants to do is get ahead and, and, and try to be better in life? Why are you trying to do that? All right. You know, and it's wrong. So, sis, as a, like once again, I'm going to go now, but thank you for what thank you have done you, this sister. evening. Thank you, sis. Sister, sister, you know, you know, don't go anywhere, but I'm going to speak to some... I'm going to speak of to... Of course, of course. You know, you might want to say something else after someone thank else you. No worries, my sister. Powerful, powerful. And thank you so much for breaking the yoke in the way that Substance broke the yoke in dance or by speaking up for the first time about the nastiness. The same way you have broken the yoke for, for Shireen's victims tonight, sis. Don't go anywhere, Coco. Fully SK, what you say? What you make of all of this now? Oh, Lord. Right, um, a few things that I just want to relay back to. Mm -hmm. Some of what Coco just mentioned. Mm -hmm. but also some questions that were being asked in the comments. So sure. someone was saying something about, is Skylar a virgin as a female? Now, I'm not sure how accurate it is, but apparently Skylar has a son. But... Yeah, I heard about this son, but I heard that... 
Sorry, go ahead. There's a female that grows the sun as her own, and okay. he used to just pose as, you know, the, the, dad. the, the dad, like the uncle. Yeah, I heard you know. that. I heard that. So, again, I don't know how much truth there is in regards to that. Also, um, when I kind of find out about Skylar, mm. um, like, not going to kind of go around it, but there was a time where there was some business that I did do with Skylar in regards to the company and the services that he provides. Now, in regards to these fake documents, I believe that those are the documents that he uses to open bank accounts because the bank account names are not in Shireen. They are in the TJ name. Yes. And then another thing is, it makes me wonder if Styler presents herself as a stud when it comes to work and travel. Ah, oh, you're going you're going where I was going to go next, sis. But you know, going... because for work, when you go for your interviews and you provide your documents and you have your, you know, mm. have your interviews, your one-to-ones, we're not there. When you're traveling, you know, through the airport and they look at your passport and so forth, we're not there. Yep. You know, like that. But there was a time what I kind what kind of stood out for me with Styler is because I used to be you know active in in the dance hall scene like as a patron, mm -hmm. a lot of the time there's you know there's things that always happen in the dance hall scene. So if something happened, Styler would be on my phone. Wagwan, yeah, yeah, Wagwan. And I just thought to myself, you're on my phone more than any gal. I couldn't understand it when you have the mix up lives in Wagwan and Instagram and TikTok and. Mm -hmm. The comments then, female mm -hmm. more active than the comments than anybody. Okay. I ain't got in skirt. I have to say to yourself, is a man this hour or is right. somebody I've been born? You know what them ones there? Right. So for me, I became kind of suspect. One mm -hmm. thing I do realise with Styler, Styler like for, for posts, especially on Snapchat. Okay. And there was a few times, a few years ago, that... At the time, it was around 2016, so I was pregnant with my last daughter. He was posting videos and pictures of him in the hospital. Now, okay. if you're from South, North, East or West, you know the local hospitals, you know, um, St. Thomas's, yeah. King's College and so of, forth. Of course, of course. Yeah. But this hospital was called New Victoria Hospital. Okay. Never heard about that hospital before. So me asked Google because I was curious. I'm not going to lie, only mm -hmm. to find out that it's a hospital that provides a pathway from female to man transition. Okay. At one point, while he was at the hospital, the, the doctor that was seeing him stepped out of the room because mm -hmm. he sat down and took a picture with him sitting down. But what he did was he catched a piece of the screen. And again, I was curious. Mm -hmm. And normally you would see a and &E, you know, Anthony tell Ward. Of course. And I never, I, I never know what Ward he was in. So I'm curious, mm -hmm. I'm a screenshot it and zoom in. And when I'm looking, the name's there. Shireen Blackwood. Oh, and yeah. says the patient has a, has a GID, which I know to be a gender identity disorder. Okay. Obviously, I couldn't see what, what, what else was written because of the fine print and how the camera was angled. Mm. But right there, so it just confirms certain little things for me. Mm -hmm. And I just realized that anyone that was, you know, asked about it, they become touchy. You ask him about it. As Coco said earlier, it's like he wants to shun you. He makes everyone around you shun you. Everyone around him, should I say, or mm. he, mm -hmm. shun you. Yeah, then yeah. All of a sudden, lies come out the woodworks. You go, yes, say you either owe him money or you need to <laughs> bad business. I right. did this, I didn't do that, I yeah, you said this, I yeah, That's said right. that. And because she feels like she, she provides a service to our white community and has more credibility than some, right? you know, again, the, manip the, manip the, manip the manipulative ways comes out. And all of the know? little minions and the little idiot then follow her. Exactly. All, every time we see it, every time we see it. As for the birthday, the birthday, I'm telling you, is in July. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, as I said, me they do some business with her. And them time there, she just had to, it, it, that year, she keep a bus party for her birthday. I can't mm. remember exactly what year it was. I think it was around 2017. Sure. She keep a bus party. The first time she claims that she had ever kept an event for her birthday because she's always so busy. Mm. That was also the first year that she launched the Gal Farm Carnival Float on the Road. Oh. 
You see what I'm saying? So with that being said now, if your birthday was on August, you would have celebrated it at Carnival. Your birthday was in July and you celebrated it on the bus. Hmm. I've even got the picture in my phone when you're in the red suede um, blazer and it looked like, so you still have your breast them in at them time there. Okay. But the old, the blazer fit, you understand? And at the same right. time, she was very touchy. She didn't want no one to fix her clothes because her clothes, they weren't fixed. And it was only her girlfriend that she would allow to fix it. The but same girlfriend, boo-boo. Her girlfriend's not being deceived. She knows fully well what's going on. So the same girlfriend, boo-boo, then. Yeah. Um, yeah, she knows what's going on. You fully well know. She's a part of it. Deception. It's not right. There's a lot of this that goes on. I was doing a lot of research around this, and there's a high percentage of these trans people that trick heterosexual people, especially when it's uh, the male turning into a female and, and tricking straight men. So many of them get murdered in that, you know. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. um, um, but... But after what, did you do you remember? I don't know if you saw um I think it was the same time around um what the lady just mentions, um when he was in hospital and he was saying that he well she was saying that she was in hospital because she had some some Leap condition where she couldn't swallow. Right. Because something to do with her tongue was too big and wow. every time she swallowed it, it was causing some kind of problem because I was thinking like since all of everything has come out yeah mm -hmm. and just hearing the lady explain about um how you you know managed to figure out why was she why she was in the hospital and you caught onto the name and and I was thinking all these other times when she's making excuses why she's in hospital yeah it could be because she's been having all these changes done Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it make it makes sense to it makes back sense. to it yeah. makes sense back to um I don't know because like but I was why saying, still keep your feet? It must be very, very recent and they've probably not had time to change the passport properly then. Mm. Because if you are then you've you've got a bona fide certificate that allows you to change certain documents. I think that he's I think that she's still in denial. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and and, to, and 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 to do the certificate change, that's you know that's the final. There. That's that's the finalization. There, final, there's no yeah. going back. And maybe she's waiting until grandma dies. Maybe I believe like... she still poses as a female when she's ready. Yes. Okay. That's what it is. That the duality of it is what attracts her. That's why she doesn't want to change it because she's a fraud stuff as well. Let's have it right. From from what we've been told and heard and seen. Definitely a fraudster, um, and, and, and active fraud takes place with, in terms of bank accounts. What worries me about that is the fact that if you are able to successfully change your identity to the point where you can get a bank account with that face pass, fake passport, then you could also potentially get a clean DBS in a different name, couldn't you? Exactly. And, and be posing as a man, working as a man in a school. Wow. And, and what kind of school? High school? Because your type the little young 15-year-olds and whatever that you like to groom and do whatever you do with would be in that school. Like, you know, let's pray that it's a primary school. Oh, my goodness. You know, mind boggles. It, it, we could go a lot of places with this. That's the worrying part. You know? But continue fully, you were saying. Yeah, so, again, you know, as, as the gentleman just said, you know, she was in hospital something about not being able to swallow and then mm -hmm. there was another occasion where she's in the hospital because she's saying she had sleep apnea and hadn't slept for so long mm -hmm. but then at the same time again it could have been you having your changes but it could have also been side effects from the medication that you're taking and hormones yeah that's what i was exactly. thinking maybe some kind of complications have been going on along the way as well mm -hmm. while she's mm -hmm. in hospital because she could have been having this transition from long time True, true. Way before we even think or know about any of this. It's true. And as I said, I heard about a sex change in 2013. I remember it like it was yesterday. Mm. And it was only when everyone started questioning is style of a male or female, the DJ, and I thought, hold on. It's the do you know what it was? It's the fact that she still remained the connection with Dancehall Syndicate. 
Mm. Sorry to, and sorry when to I first you. heard about it in 2013, it was the female DJ from Dancehall Syndicate. So right now, if you go on Facebook and look for the Dancehall Syndicate page, you'll find it. You'll find style all over it. But you won't find anything before 2016. Oh. Everything's been deleted before 2016. Hmm. So for, from so 2013, yeah. So remember, I was saying when I got that picture, that was 10 years ago. So that's 2013, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's 2013. Hmm. Trying to establish a, t a timeline, you know, we're never going to be accurate. One thing I think that we do know is that a, a transition potentially has taken place because you said sis that you saw you zoomed in fully fully yeah and, um, in, i'm not gonna lie I was and you curious. saw this type of hospital because when you said the hospital i thought i've never heard of that in the country and yeah. I, I know my hospitals you know what i mean yeah but it's that type of hospital absolutely and it so sounds like, like, like it's gonna make you wonder like where Sorry? Is that? no like when i saw the name of the hospital was like where's that what do they do there because you know you have some special hospitals that deal with special you know yeah of course and, yeah, special like so and, and especially with this type of issue they would be handling that very sensitively and discreetly exactly yeah and that hospital is primarily a hospital that provides surgical gender procedures right and you actually saw the name you've been. and i actually saw the name and the condition gender and the condition gid yeah which is a gender identity disorder of course of course and of course. I'm, to be honest, my friends, my immediate friends, we all know it's something that has been spoken about when it's come up and every time it comes up, mm -hmm. we all know. It's something that everyone knows, but then you're going to have the ones that they know, but they don't know the bigger picture. And the bigger picture behind it all is the deception. Yes. So... You can know that, yeah, one used to be a female and is now a man. Oh, right. Da, 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 da. But the people that he's interacting with and the ones that he's been, you know, sexually... And harming. With, the people that he's been harming. This is it. Do she they know? Yeah. And that is the bigger picture. And I've got children. Hmm. Absolutely. I think, I mean, look, the age of my, of my last baby is 13 years old now and you know that's not far off, is it? It's only a couple of years, and, it, and, it, and and she might come on to somebody like this person. To be honest, style is thirty-seven. You just turned thirty-seven. I, I thought he, I thought she was younger. Mm. I thought Styler was younger. Well, it's the ninety-one or the eighty-six. You know, whichever day it suits them, by the looks of things. To and be honest, that Shireen passport I believe to be the original passport. Well, on, look the, at, on the fake one, not only yeah. are the P's inconsistent, but so are the L's. Okay, I didn't even notice the L's, you see? The I L's are inconsistent them. by far. Right. Um, the dates and so forth. It's just, it's you know, the fake passports like that you'll get away with opening a Monzo account. Or, you know, starting okay. you know, these online accounts. You can never walk into a bank with that. I'm not sure it would get past the DBS system either, to be fair. I doubt it very much. This is I why I believe... It. Yeah. that she still poses as a female right when she's ready because mm. you know we have female studs yeah of course i'm just looking at the l's again let me have a look at it again as you said it i thought i spotted every error l yeah yeah absolutely yeah yeah he's, he's, he's disgusting. disgusting you can see if you if you look carefully, the date, the yeah. name, yeah, and the birthday is where the where the changes have been made. Yeah, that's right, absolutely. And that, yeah, that's that's where all the inconsistencies are, like. Yeah, and then obviously the passport number is a dead giveaway. Like, why is it the same <laughs> passport number? You know, dumb, dumb as dumb as well as you are. But sometimes you intelligently know, weak wickedly manipulative do you know what i mean you're not that smart this is and that it. will hurt that will hurt her she's listening i, I yeah. guarantee i said to someone yesterday she's in the, she's in the bush she's listening and I that will hurt her the most because she's a it true will. because i said to and someone I yesterday no matter one. how clean styler thinks she's been i guarantee you she's left one stone unturned 
There you and go. look up pop Sabuki passport mm. that you've presented. Not that, that someone else has Nobody presented. put it up. Juju never put up that. Juju didn't put up that. Juju that put up real passport you. and expose you. You said that yourself. You, your own undoing. And it's often the way with these types of people. Their own undoing. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm gobsmacked. Then he's got the cheat to be making fake pages, commenting on Afua's post, talking about how I'm a convicted thief and how I killed my auntie and I no. killed my sister. <laughs> I saw me so bad, killed two people and I'm still on road. You, you must have um, the equipment that he's got to be making fake IDs. He must have ho hooked me up with some fake IDs and that's something that he should be reported for. Well, yeah. that's the, part, the bright and out of order part of it. But you know what, sis? We see it so many times. We got one running around. I call her Hungry Belly. She wants me to say the name because then she can think she can get the traffic to her stupid platform that tells nothing but lies. Not one receipt. Just she did her chat for all oh, six, seven, eight hours, whatever. No receipts. No no um, witnesses. No, not even screenshots. You understand? Just she did it at all. No Stan is a drug me. dealer as well. That's yes, one thing I've he likes to cover too. up. He's I've a drug dealer. Yeah. That. So many people are talking. I wish they all jumped on tonight and took Coco's direction. I really do. I think Coco's left us now. Blessed love, sis, for your, your contribution, man. There's some Fair people enough. just aren't bold enough, you know, but at the end of the day, it was one little top of the iceberg that got cracked and look what's come out of it. That's this all right. started from a, a drugging allegation, and look where we are now. Look where we are now, Styler. Mm. Yeah, not I, Styler. I, I should imagine that, 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 that name was chosen with a chuckle because you know, <laughs> you know, that, that person evil grin of his style out the, the whole community and style women out. It's disgusting. And Can I've get, heard him be uh, disrespectful to his girlfriend as well, calling her stupid fool. A lot of people have idiot. That. I would ask Boo Boo to free yourself, sister. If you don't, you know, if you don't <laughs> want to DM me and, and get the support that you deserve, then at least reach out in in the the mainstream. There are lots and lots of support and services that you can take. You know, if it's the money and the lifestyle you're in love with, or you have Stockholm syndrome, then I pray for you, my sister. I really do. But what you're involved Style is provide her too much comfort for her to want to leave. Because what style is giving her, no man's never given her that. You see. Well, what, what, what will it profit a one to gain the world and lose their soul? That's all I've got to say to her. We pray for her, don't it? What can we do? I pray for the both of them, to be fair. Because I pray for Styler to confess the truth about the drugging and everything else, what he's doing to the people that must set himself free. Then God will have mercy on him. But you see, if he continues to be stubborn and harden his heart, it's not going to end gonna very perish. well for her or him. So when you go back to the dust, you can't stand before the almighty God and say, yeah, man, when he knows, say he knitted you in your mother's womb as a woman. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I say it, God. Well, that part of it, let, let that be his day on judgment. You understand what I'm saying? Right mm -hmm. now, I'm dealing with the fact that he's been harming women. She has been harming women. And I'm, I'm I'm completely appalled that this is going on from a woman to another woman. And I suspect that it's very common. I know it's very common, actually, in the uh, lesbian and trans communities, that, that you've got these studs that walk around doing what Sila does. But I'm not saying that all of the studs that manipulate women and, you know, get sex by deception from straight women because that's their, their penchant. I've it's, never encountered somebody from the it's, LGBT it's, it's, that it's, lied. Right. Is is also I'm not saying that those those studs that do that also yeah. have personality disorders like Styler because mm. he's got that and some, hasn't he? Hasn't she? Um, yeah. Personality disorder, harming women, beating them up, lying about your mum. Wow. Where do we? I, do you know what my mind boggles? Fully. Me give you the last word, my sister. Yeah. I'm gonna wrap up. My last word. Yeah. Friends like these make me keep distance. Afoa, them no real, look where it substance. Fully SK, no need them assistance. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> so Flicking a freestyle substance. Flicking a freestyle, Dessa. <laughs> oh, my days. Is it, Don't you uh, see? The game fuck up, but me have the eagle eye. No matter how the pussy really want to try, them can't brought me. 
Even when them see me cry, my life done set up all prayers to the most high. Them not really want no war deep down, them fear me. My bad from my band, them can't come fear me. So make them sit down and a penny me. Because the Psalms 35, I bust up shouting at me enemy. Rap, rap, rap. Wicked. Fire, man. Fire for the two sisters. Pull there. up, pull up, SK. Pull up. <laughs> want to hear that one again. Never yeah, mind. Want to hear that one again. All right. Friends like this make me keep distance. Afoa, them no real, look a read substance. Fully SK, no need them assistant. Out of love, not nah, show no emotion. Friends like this make me stay distance. Brother, them no real, look a read substance. You see me? Now give them too much still, is it? Jeez. That's not a really soon, so you don't know. You know what, yeah? We're, we're going to be having his time is up March 2024. And I really would be honoured if you I will be there for us at the march. Will it be in Brixton again? It will be in Brixton again. We're coming yeah. back at 24. So, and you, my sister, please, fully, I want you to DM me with your number. So we All can right, take then. Your sister. Yeah. Maybe Let's his go. victims might speak at the march instead. I re Well, maybe they will find the, 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 the courage to be able to do that. And it's no slight yeah. on them. You know, yeah. going from victim to survivor and being able to speak your truth and that whole transition and process, it, it takes sometimes a lifetime. So there's no slight yeah. on anybody that doesn't feel able to speak. You know, we speak for them. I will take the bullets in the neck and people say, ah, where's the victims? Where's the evidence? I will take it in the neck for my sisters. I don't mind. But we're here. And we always prove yeah. our team. Tomorrow they'll be saying that Afro don't got no proof and Afro this and Afro that. Every time we come on, we prove our team. A lie? True, true. Right. And they can't go around the passport. What are they going to no. say about that? They cannot he's go around. Black and white. He said he's got three different identities. So why is it hard to believe that you're out here tricking girls? And I want to I big up the sister that presented that piece of evidence. You know, there was a lot of evidence. And I don't always show all of what I got for two reasons. Mm. One, um, some of it needs to be held back to put it in the public domain if there's a future case, which is what yeah. we're always driving towards, then that kind of stuff would be better left in the background. That's the number one reason why I don't show all the evidence that I have when I talk about stuff. The second reason is, is that sometimes it's just too much to upload. The evidence is overwhelming sometimes, you know? How many yeah. times have we seen it that people's going, I've got evidence, I don't know. We saw it in the Tony Clark case. In the end, I got fed up with the whole of them and they're stripping this and court cases and whatever. And I dumped the whole of the evidence on the live. Everyone went quiet. In the end, I got fed up with the whole of them. Wow. Everyone went quiet. So it is what it is. You know, we need to give thanks to Apple for the showing light. Blessed, sis. Blessed. It's needed, Afua. It's mm -hmm. needed. I see a lot of comments talking about, oh, the page is taking a different direction. No, it's still mm -hmm. black issues in the community, whether it's music, whether it's ordinary nine to five people, this needs to be highlighted. And, and also, those people that talk don't know my MO from 35 years of speaking up in my community. We represent everything that is wrong in our community. At the moment, on the world stage, you see that sexual abuse and violence against women and girls is a huge conversation, and no more so than it is in the, in the black community. So that's what we're highlighting at the moment. We talk about gun crime, we talk about whatever. He mentioned also the young girl in Croydon, and you know, I'm ignorant and I didn't take down the post after 600 comments. None of them people in the comments knew what they were talking about. None of them. They were working off the fact, yeah, that there were two posts that were put up. And none of them knew, one of them was saying that the one they thought it was, everybody thought it was the wrong one. But the real post that I had put up had come from the sister or family of the victim herself. And they put it all over TikTok in young people circles. I had it verified and verified and verified again, down to Pitney where no the, the, the youth in the area. And you know the kids know what's going on. Yeah, I had other official sources which I don't, I can't talk about where I, I got that confirmed. So I put it up with chess and I stood the scrutiny of 600 people cussing me off in the comments, calling me all sorts of names, unfollowing, doing whatever. But I knew that it was the right one. Do you understand? So I kept it there. If I was wrong, I'd have take it down like I did the um, Little Johnny video, apologize to Elder and bring his daughter on the platform to tell the real story. Because that's what I do when I'm wrong. I hold my hands up as much as the trolls say what they say. 
Amazing. At the end of the day, I feel like, yeah, it's your platform. You talk about oh, whatever you want to talk right. about. Do you understand? Yeah, team. it's I'm your platform. Right. And the thing is, even if you take, even if you change j diversions and you and you talk about, you always make you always make it happen. You always still come with the evidence. You always still come. It doesn't matter what you talk about. It might not always be the main thing that you do, but you you, you do it well anyway. Mm, so. Whatever, man. Bless you for that, man. Bless you for that. Let them go along. Those who know, know. And that's good enough for me. The rest of them can have their tea party. And mm -hmm. some of them, you know, you know, like my mother and father used to say, fire their moss must till them think a cool breeze. Let me tell you, some of them out there right now <laughs> telling them what they're going on with, and that for them for pre car fire their them till right now, them think a cool breeze. Let them go along and do their thing, do their worst. Let Where's all the up. minions gone in the comments? Ooh. Where them gone? It's always the same. We we go through it every time. They're in um Instagram running up their gums. They never jump on the live and qualify up their thing. When they do, they come with a bag of idiot arguments and shame up themselves <laughs> and have to leave. It's always I just I just can't it's believe how we, I just can't believe how he tried to come for substance here yeah. yeah. so hard. Yeah. And mm. some of the things he was saying and do you know what I mean? Just trying to be dictating she, to everything. She, she, when you when you put all this going as on a, as a mantra, she she she. Because as I say, until we see a transition certificate, and you stop playing games, if you have had a transition, and stop trying to be a fraudster, we'll have to say she because we don't got any evidence that you've had tran a transition. We're and as for doesn't he have his own immigration service or something like oh, that? Oh, yes, I've been told about a lot of people talked about that one actually. Mm. Uh, and the way that he gets the artists into the country, it's all dodgy, it's mm. all very, very dodgy. And I, I don't know what school he she works in, but if all of this is going on, it's a real concern. I, I just think that that shouldn't be around children. Well, he works with cool. SEN kids, vulnerable as well. children. Oh my goodness! I, I think we need just to like he likes vulnerable, vulnerable women, children. So it's very again. iffy. Mm, vulnerability. Mm, I think we need to, um, look. Let's be structured about it. Everybody that we've spoken to, we will get them to write. It will be anonymous, but we'll get them to write statements. In fact, they can put their names to it because uh, the school wouldn't be able to reveal where that came from anyway, so they'd have anonymity. And we should organise something. I'm going to do that. And anyone else who wants to tell their story in that way, please DM me on at Afuero69 on Instagram. This person's got to be shut down. It's enough's enough. And if that was my child, especially an SEN child, funny enough, I was delivering training at an SEN school this week. Um, and, yeah... Those kids are way vulnerable. Oh my goodness, way vulnerable, way more vulnerable than the mainstream school. Yeah, so I think we need to do something about it. What do you guys say? His time is up, family. Are we going to go into action yeah. on this? I yeah, we, we need to. Need to. I think oh, we need because to. if he can sexually assault adults his age, do you and know young what I mean? Girls, that SCN like child, girls, sixteen years old, and whatever. That because you might not, child child might not know the difference between you know. And Sis, sorry, Coco's gone, but she did say she was 15 when she met him, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that would have made her... 19. 19, which is sexual assault on a child. You're a nonce. Oh, my gosh, the pennies dropped. Trust me. Oh, my, there's no mercy for you. He should have just shut his mouth. That dirty yeah. blows now, and you run out oh of people's God. lives, knowing that your backyard ain't clean. Copayo. Wow. The, 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 Look the at the revelation that just drop on the line. It's right coming now. now, you know. Sister said oh. she was fifteen. We've qualified. She said she's what thirty-one now. Thirty-three or four. She 33 said thirty-three or four. I remember it was a three-year gap. Yeah, thirty-four, five, six, like seven. Yeah. Years. So well, that would have made you nineteen, which means that you sexually assaulted a child. She said there was not no penetration, but you lay down in a bed with the pitney and forced her to fall in love with you and believe that, that you she were is thirty-seven. Groomer, style is a groomer. Thirty-seven. Because if Coco's thirty-three, yeah, he's man, thirty-seven. Like, she's thirty-three. 37. Going right. on, you know. mm. Oh, sorry, thirty-three. Yeah. That's four so years. Going on no, the girl's thirty-four and style is thirty-seven. So he's three years. Me up now. She said she was 34 or 33. Yeah, 34, because there's a three-year sure? difference. 
But remember, style has got more than one age, so it depends which one date of birth you're going. Well, 37, I believe that's what's under Shireen passport. Yeah. That's it. yeah, 37. So I believe 37. That's why she loved that song, Baby Face. Boy. Way, 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 Shireen, you're in trouble, you know. Shireen, Shireen, Shireen. You're in trouble. And I feel any dance or people booking it, let me know, people, because I will be contacting those people. This is not acceptable. Mm -hmm. Like, any perpetrator, if it was a man, we'd all be going for them right now. Doing all yep. exactly. So why, yep. why, there's, there's, there's no mercy just because she's a woman. This is nah. This is really bad. No, sir. But anyway, and she likes sister, to play disrespectful music at children's parties, too. That's oh. another weird thing. It all makes sense now. Mm -hmm. It all made sense. I believe her time is up. This ain't yep. his time is up tonight. This is her time is up. Her tonight. time is up. But I think oh. DJ Styler needs to be cancelled. What do you think? No, I, 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 absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You don't get cancelled already from over mm. my ears. Well, done out people, but you see yard people, but you know what it's like with them. It's about this, these dance all yardies. I, I differentiate Jamaicans from yardies. Everyone knows what I mean when I mean yardies. Yeah. Like right in nasty mm. set of people, them. Mm. Um, Drugging set of people. They, they, would, they, would, they would have this as a, they harbour paedophiles and all sorts knowingly. So they will have this as a nine day attack. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And they'll mm. they will carry on doing their rubbish. That's what they'll do. As long as there's a benefit in it for them, and he can speech his way through it and give them something they want, they'll carry mm -hmm. on. Guaranteed. Yep. But as far That's as the rest good. of us is concerned, and if this person has got an ounce of decency, they would hang their head in shame and like like Sister Coco said, repent. Mm -hmm. ask God to forgive you that you might be able to be starting again clean you know wow yep. I'm bloody believable I'm sorry guys I'm, I'm really gobsmacked on this one there's not a lot of things that that shock me anymore but this one shocked me honestly really does the fact that it's in our own community you only usually have these types of stories in like America or right. in the movies is that, how, is that what we've become it's a movie. It's a horror movie, actually. Especially the bit where you're in a wig. I, I just saw like a horror movie. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm not even trying to make light of it. It is chilly. No, man. No, man. Can you imagine? You think we, you, no, but big and serious now. Fun and joking. <laughs> yeah? Imagine you're, you're dating an hombre and you're really believing, you're falling in love, you're doing this thing. People are telling you man's dressing up in a wig and everything. And then you see them in some necks purple down there bottom lace front was it, <laughs> was it a front or a closure no. <laughs> i didn't even know that much when it's it comes to it was a fringe cut i remember that picture too <laughs> no that will soon re resurface you stay there when by it, christmas somebody if anyone has that picture, picture please send when, it yeah when it is that happened with a guy in wolverhampton and then memory. saying it you're saying it's your twin sister it chilled me when sis, when Coco said it. It wasn't the first time I'd heard it. But the first time I heard it, it chilled me. And it was in a bigger story than what Coco was telling. It chilled me. And I just imagined, um, I imagined Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, which one of, of them is it again? Um, Psycho. We're dressing up yeah. as his mom. You know when he's coming in the oh, show? The week. Norman! That's what I imagined. <laughs> Psycho. Yeah, it's definitely me, a psychopath. This gives me the creeps. Can you imagine the manipulation his granny must be under? Like, oh, granny, and I love if you granny. notice in the I video, myself, if, I, if God graces me to be 95 years old, I imagine myself to be just like granny. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? I love granny, great. and she reminds but me of my auntie Anne. God rest her soul. That's my great aunt, my grandmother. If you sister. watch back the video, you will hear that the granny said, them ask me if you're like man or if you're like woman and I don't know what ah, to tell them, so I oh, just start to cry. Yes. So who's asking the granny them thing there? And not being funny, if you're a boy, the granny would have shut it down and said, me change a diaper from your picnic yeah. and your other yeah. willy. Yeah. Simple. Don't, don't know whatever, my grandson, you know? 
That's yeah. what the grandma would be looking at. Mm. And still calling her she in the video. And you can see where he wanted to kind of shut her up a little bit and trying to go speak over her. He must have thanked God when the house phone rang. Right. But knowing Just, him, he probably called it off his other phone. Put up her one in the chat if you guys caught that bit. You're going to have to watch it back to catch it again. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely clocked on. And make sure you look because don't think that she ain't gonna try to stay behind the shadows and report this video. I might just put it mm. on members only to be fair. But um no, nah, let the people them see it. Screen record, screen record, screen record. By the time she can't do it, nothing, her time by the time is cut it down, it'd be Tuesday morning and it would be already at how much thousand views anyway. You did not sure take down the most important down. parts already. And that is not to harm this person, you know. I want to make it no clear. I'm not advocating that anybody beat them up because you know what? Regardless of everything they've done and all the rest of it, and how angry I am with that person for what they've done in their own community, our community. There's still a humanity in me when uh, Sister Coco was so talking fair. about the beating up as a young person that it pulled my heart yeah. and I felt sorry for mm. her. You understand? Yes. So I would advocate that that person's been through enough beating, I should imagine. And I, I should imagine those beatings became part of the trauma as well. You understand mm. what I'm saying? You know, for low the beating thing, man, this person needs help. Do you know? But this person also needs to be accountable because they've hurt a lot of people too. A hundred percent, sis. There's, there is no 100. forgiveness without atonement. No way. Yeah. Yeah, but as they say, her, yeah, but as they say, hurt, hurt people, hurt people in it, and until yeah. he gets, until she gets the right counselling, you know, and understand herself, she's just going to continue to just do damage. That's right, and that's why she's dangerous. Very dangerous. And I can only imagine the trauma of other people and what they've been through, even though, you know, I never experienced nothing like what the other women does. But back to the, the, the spiking, it's that trauma. People dragging us on social trauma. media, lying. And, you know, he was one of the most ones. There's holes in your story. There's holes in your story. There's holes in your story. And people like that, when they repeat stuff over mm -hmm. a certain amount of time, it's almost like they're forcing it into your mind, like, for you mm -hmm. to believe. Trying to convince you. Yeah, trying yeah. to convince you of certain things. And then you find yourself over-explaining yourself when you don't got to do stuff, nothing. It's crazy. It's quite straightforward what happened, do you know what I mean? And it's just wickedness. Wickedness of the highest order, sister. But listen, we're coming up to three hours and 40 minutes. Um, let me let me give fully again the last word as somebody that's uh, moved around Shireen and move around this style of character. And then we're gonna wrap it up. Blessed love to everybody that contributed, especially you artists. Um, I'm glad you're vindicated, and we're gonna we're gonna put the cherry on the cake because we're not letting go the uh, 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 polygraph, we're not going to do that. And and to be honest with you, like I said to you um, earlier on today, I spoke with you, sis, and I said to you, do you know what, whether they get back to me or not, because I've been messaging the Indian woman to say, what's what's happening, what your art is saying for this polygraph test, and she hasn't, she's just, she's just aired me. First of all, she sent me a video. I just randomly sent me a video of uh, her artist. And I said to her, I don't know why you want, me to I should have put it up today actually. I don't know why you're sending me this video because I'm not into that kind of music. And not, not only that, I think your artist is shit. I don't like her stuff. So I'm not a fan. Can we talk about the polygraph? No, eh, nothing. Yeah. So I said to you today, in a sense, you'll be vindicated by the fact that you and your husband will take that test and you will pass it. They they are refusing to take it and not even get it. 690 back to pounds. And on top of that way. as well. Their major, major uh, supporter in what was going on has been proven to be an absolute psychopath. So that is your vindication that you will need. They don't need to say another word after this. It's met them go long, all of them. But yeah, fully. Let's wrap up. Last yeah, words. As I'm saying, um, big up everyone that's been supportive and contributed towards this live. And mm -hmm. there's over 500 people here. So I know there's a few silent yeah. Like a few people just watching in and not really not said anything at all. Maybe mm -hmm. some of them are victims. Maybe some of them just want to know what's going on or have their mm -hmm. suspicions confirmed or so forth. But I just mm -hmm. thought that if there's anyone that's been affected anyway, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, speak about it. You Absolutely. know, either, like reach out to Afwa. I'm sure she will listen to you. 
but just know that you're not to blame and it's wrong. You know, don't ever think that you're at fault. Like as Coco said when she spoke, you know, certain things she didn't really want to talk because, you know, and then so she got to the point where she was like, oh, I don't really care. Like, I'm just going to say it. I feel that there's a lot of lot more other people out there with the same kind of story. Mm. You know, it's been, it's been over 20 years. So, you know, you can just kind of do the maths. But, yeah, that's about it. And thank you for having me on the platform. Blessed love, my sister. Thank you for speaking your truth, art is substance. Solely thanks for backing it, backing it up and supporting the sister. Cole, Big Cole, for love for your unbridled, pure truth. It was so powerful, your testimony, my, my sister. Yeah. My young sis. Please, 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 Coco, get on Instagram at Rose 69 all one word. Don't look at any, all of the others because I've got enough trolls and fakes, pet fake pages. I'm the one with around 9,000 followers, that one. And it's all one word, Afua, A-F-U-A, R-O-S-E, 69. Jump on, DM me, because that's where I take my messages. And me and you are going to jump on and have a further conversation, my sister. Uh, we need to do that. So bless up, everybody. Thank you. Love is take care. Bye, Bye guys. Bye, yeah. Bless it, love. Bless it, love. Yeah, man. Hmm. Well, her time is well and truly up. Damn. Yeah, and we ran to you again. We've been having like four hour lives recently, haven't we? There's been so much. Everything's really mad intense lately. But yes, my people, there is it. There is it. And as I always say, and there I rest my case. Put up a one if you believe that uh, the artist or the DJ that calls themselves DJ Styler is a woman by birth. Put up a two if you think that they are a man with killer filter syndrome, whatever it's called. And put up a three if you believe that they were born. Well, just put up a two if you believe they're a man with, with the syndrome. Put up a one if you believe they were born a woman. Let's take the poll. <clears throat> Channel star. Yo, I've heard some levels of wickedness in my time. But you see this, yeah, one, yeah? Mm -mm. It's forcing me to talk in Jamaican patois. That's when you know I'm always really perplexed. My goodness. It's almost unanimous. It's almost unanimous tonight, Shireen. Boy, and we're not stopping there. No, you need to get cancelled. And you need to stop working with people's special needs children. You really do. You need to just get some help. You know, maybe they'll support you if you come clean. Get some garden leave. <laughs> yeah, we got a troll. Zero equals loser. What does that mean? Is that for me or Shireen? But anyway, someone always has to break the mold, in it? And do their own thing. Sometimes we get all fours and fives. What does that mean? It's, it's unanimous tonight, people. It is. Shireen... I know you're here and I know you're watching, sister. I do. You need to drop the veil. It's not getting you anywhere. Look at where you are now. Has every lie and every deception and every ill treatment and abuse that you've ever done, has it been worth this moment of absolute humiliation? I don't think it has. Check yourself. Reach deep inside. Drop on your knees and ball out fast. You understand me? That's what you need to do, man. Serious things. Because I see the pain with all I've heard. I see it. And, and But you can't, you can't, you can't do these things. You cannot do these things to your own sisters. That's what makes it so profound. We've heard some heinous things that men do to women. But this to your own sisters. I don't, I think this is unprecedented here. We've heard the wickedness of women towards other women and we've heard the wickedness of women towards men. But I don't think we've ever heard this. This level towards your own sisters. It is wrong. And I wonder how you treat the men around you. I've, we've not heard from any men that moved with it. You know, that allowed it in the camp. You, you're a DJ. You must have been around a lot of brothers. A lot of yard men there. What are, your, what, what are the yard men them saying? What are you not saying? Because you lot bun out what you what you guys call sodomite of any description. Well, I never know. I'm not buying a lot of it. I think well, you know, when people decide that they can, they're the people that can, they can get you, bring you in, because it appears that that's how they set themselves in the scene where they go, you know, they bring people in, they provide lifestyles. People shut their mouths and say nothing. 
And that's what we've got to get over, whether it's paedophilia, domestic violence, rape by deception, whatever it is. We've got to stop this thing, man. Our community is rotten. There was a time I used to be able to hold my head up and say, oh, no, not us. Not anymore. Anything goes. And if you stop it, unbelievable. But anyway, we will be pursuing it. You guys will probably hear the updates on that. And as I say, cancellation and con contacting that person. Look, if that person was working as a builder or a flipping secretary, uh, that's not my business. Keep your job, do your things. Not our business. The fact that you're working with children, nah, nah. Because if I heard about this sort of person in baby Afua's school, I'd be making sure that I'd be in the parents' WhatsApp group organising the masses. So, no, I don't think we're going to have it, actually. Sorry about that. You're going to have to find another profession. That ain't right. Because this is actually a crime. And if we can get it together and people do what they're supposed to do or what they've promised to do, then actually there will be charges on the back of this. So, yes, my people, unanimous tonight. Bless up, bless up all the mods. Bless up all the supporters. Two fingers up to all the people, all the trolls and the whatever in the Instagram as usual. They're not here. And I will see you guys again next week. I'm hoping uh, that we can follow up a story that's been hanging for a while next week. Um, <laughs> exactly. Sorry, Angor has the last say from the comments because it's so true. Uh, I thought a lot of these dancehall artists who are anti-gay are gay or bisexual. Don't I know it? I've been around studios my entire life in one form or another, in Jamaica and here, and it is absolutely the case. Full of delos. That's why I don't deal with the odd man, to be fair. You never know what you're getting. Same reason I don't deal with African-American men. You never know what you're getting. And on that note, my brothers and sisters, Lioness Keats, bless up, bless up. I don't even know at what point you came in, but I'm glad you're here. Big up all the uh, members. Big up all the usual subscribers and viewers. And I will see you guys again next week. Blessed love, blessed love. And everybody says a, a prayer for, you know what, all the perpetrators, except Vincent Rapp, because I believe he's the devil. But let's say a prayer for all the perpetrators, uh, not just Shireen tonight, but for all of them, that they will change the error of their ways. We pray, oh Lord, that you will take out their stony hearts and replace it with a fleshy heart like thine. And on that note, my brothers and sisters, I will see you next week. Blessed love, have a blessed and uplifting weekend.